Well, we are back. We're back at the Nine Club, everybody, huh? Today we got a special, special guest. Saudi guest. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mr. Shad Ware is here. <laughs> huh? Cheers. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for having me on the show, guys. Man, Thanks we for coming, appreciate buddy. it. Oh, yeah. And the last time we saw you uh, sitting in that chair, we were on location at the Diamond Mine uh, Halloween party. You were, yes. you were Dennis Rodman. Yes. <laughs> and you were kind yeah. of Dennis Rodman for weeks after. <laughs> it seemed like you uh, kind of kept it going. Yeah, I actually couldn't. Like, I was trying to get a haircut for a while. Oh, like, yeah couldn't get a haircut why barbers and then skating like oh, their yeah. schedules and my schedules weren't weren't matching up okay <laughs> yeah so you ran with the uh the old spotted hair for a while though you fit rodman perfectly though man I, I mean, that was I, amazing you know, yeah i mean that era rodman yeah oh, of course <laughs> of yeah, course let's not right talk about the years after <laughs> yeah. that. didn't really fit that good for yeah, it would have been fine a wedding dress yeah you could have worn a wedding dress and... <laughs> yeah. no, 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 no. maybe but, next uh, halloween I mean, I, I'm not really trying to do doubles. It, it actually makes me want to see what you're going to do next Halloween. you got to keep this theme running with, like, good Halloween costumes. You probably always have a good Halloween costume. I don't know. I kind of peaked. Yeah. Yo. Ooh. Yeah, because my birthday is the day after Halloween. Mm. Halloween kind of takes all the wind out of my birthday, and okay. everybody's all hung over and they don't feel good so i realistically don't even really like halloween that much no <laughs> no i like kind of hate it yeah yeah but right. um when you're a kid you're like oh yeah candy this that and then it's when you good. get older everybody's just burnt out and right just burnt you yeah, know, like, yeah. Right, sick. you don't want to hang out from everybody. i seen you last night it's like yeah i didn't even recognize you you're right. fucking frankenstein <laughs> yeah. you didn't even realize who you were right. Dude, right. you know i'm like I'm hanging out with my friends. I'm hanging out with a bunch of fucking characters. You're hanging yeah. out with Dennis Rodman. Yeah. Fucking me. Like, That's true, right? Like, we're, yeah, but well, yeah. you know, it's kind of like the this go. year or last mm -hmm. year. I was like, you know what? I'll go in. Hey, you pulled it off, man. He had, one of the, he had probably the best costume at the party. I felt. I, like. I think yeah, so. Him sure. and you and Jaron. Yeah. Jaron was the, the puffy. Oh, Sam Smythe. Oh, yeah. Was, uh, there was a lot of good ones. Yeah. There, there was a lot of good ones. A lot but. of good. I'm not, I'm not a Halloween. I can't dress up and do all that thing, man. I'm you're like, you. you're like, what did you wear a like, wig? I yeah, like, I, <laughs> I like being me. Yeah. Yeah. Right. That's how I usually am. But then I crack under the pressure and then like, am a shitty scarecrow or something. I don't, know, like, <laughs> shitty scarecrow. I don't know. Like I went to a skate jam, like back in Philly. And then I was like, just put on a plaid shirt. Fucking, I didn't paint my face. I Nothing. Face paint. No yeah. straws coming out of your. No, I was. Uh, I was no? actually just a farmer. Okay. Very, very exciting. Right. Right. Well, let's get into uh, Shad. Uh, well, I hear your name pronounced a lot of different ways. Right. Do you ever mm -hmm. get sick of it, or do you not even care anymore? Uh, I, I Shad. I mean, probably right. just it's, so it's many kind different. Of, it's kind of like business as usual now. Right. Like, okay. Eshad. Mm-hmm. Bothers me. Eshad. Yeah, people say Eshad. That's weird because it's spelled with an I. But it's, I, f I feel like it's more like a Spanish thing, you know what I mean? In oh, Spanish, okay. uh, an E is pronounced I. Oh, yeah? Right? Correct me. I have no but clue. I don't know, I don't know how to either. speak Spanish. Or no. <laughs> an I is pronounced E. E. That's what right. it is. Yeah. So people say Ishad, but um, it's Ish. Ishad. 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 People say Ishad also. Ishad. And that's kind of like a nickname. People have been calling okay. me Ishad for like forever that, so, that, that's cool so that people are like matter. what is it Ishad or I or Ishad or Ishad mm -hmm. and I'm like it's Ishad but you can call me Ishad it's pretty much like a nickname yeah yeah right yeah. right anybody call you I nah <laughs> yeah, that, that, okay that, ish, that'd ish. be cool yeah. I get I get ish a little ish you know what I mean when back in the day when iPods first came out <laughs> so people would call me iPod iPod <laughs> iPod what up <laughs> the last name is where? 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 This is how it's spelled. Like it's a, I, I make this really corny joke a lot of the times when I'm checking into the hotel. I go up and I'm, they're like, oh, do you have a reservation? And I'm like, yeah, it's underwear. underwear. <laughs> <laughs> it's more of a joke for me than yeah. it is for them. You know what I mean? I'm right. like, hey, hey. Yeah. But your first name is longer than Ashad. You have a full first name though, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. It's uh, Ashad Kadar. Ashad Kadar. Okay. Where, where's, how, how did your uh, parents come up with this name? I believe it's Muslim. My dad okay. chose the name, mm -hmm. and uh, it means dark skin man of glory. Dark skin man, what? Of glory. Of glory. Yeah. Oh. And then my middle name Baruti means teacher. Okay. So See, it's Ashad like, Kadar Baruti Ware. I like that. 
See, but you, I have a name, Chris. It doesn't mean shit. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? It means Chris. And there's like a billion of them in the world. Yeah. I, mean, I don't think I've ever met yeah. anybody with the same name as me. I know. That's amazing. And then I would kind of be like low-key like... You've never met Nishad? Out of here. <laughs> yeah, I can tell out. <laughs> Who is this fucking yeah. Nishad guy? Like, what? You've never met Nishad before? Nah. Huh. It's good, though. This is a shot too. Like, <laughs> beat it, bro. Like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, look at us. So it's like Chris, Roger, and Kelly. Like, how fucking plain is that? Very. Yeah. Most <laughs> ones I see Kelly are girls. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> uh, born and raised in um, uh, Jersey, right? New Jersey. Yeah, born in town. How was that? It was cool. Right. <laughs> you know, I would. Skate around my town with my friends just like any other kid. Yeah, for sure. And then uh, started going to the closest big city. Mm -hmm. Started skating there. That happened to be Philadelphia. Yeah. And I moved there when I was 18. Oh, you moved right when you were 18, you moved out? Yep. Well, let's, let's <laughs> rewind for a minute, though. How, what age did you start skating? Eight. Eight years old? Wow. Yeah. Why, how did you get into it? I wanted a board when I was seven. Okay. But then I didn't get one until my eighth birthday. Birthday present. Yeah. Oh. Well, what did you get? Do you remember? The first board I got was a mongoose, but I like didn't really start skating because I knew it was like a fake board. Oh, really? I was like, this isn't like... It's like a BMX board? Yeah. I was like, Ugh. I was so pissed. I was like, I was, like, I was hot. <laughs> Let's just say that I was hot. That's... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And then I got the real complete, you know, okay. and I got to pick all my stuff. Mm -hmm. I had, had a Tosh Town and Element board, you know. Whoa. Tosh Town. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Local some Grind Kings, Spitfire Wheels. Okay. They got Black Magic Grip Tape. Whoa. Nice. Shorty's Hardware, and uh, <laughs> I don't remember the bearings. No? Do they have Duke's riser pads, too? Yeah, quickies. I don't, I don't think I was ever a riser pad guy. No. no? Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's almost a setup you could ride right now, yeah, yeah. you know? I guess. I yeah. mean, you could kind of really skate anything, right? Yeah. True. Not me, Ashad. <laughs> I need a 775 chocolate board. What, what, what size board do you ride? I ride an 8.3. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So growing up, so you got your real, you got your board, element board and everything. And you start skating with your buddies. How, how early did you start going into Philly? Like late 14, 15. Okay. So what? Did up you train there? Yeah. So there was a train system in my town that was like new that just got put in uh -oh. so you could take the train to Camden and then take the train from Camden over into into Philly. Yeah. Oh, okay. So that wasn't like even a thing going there for like a while until the train system got put in. Gotcha. It's called the River Line. Right. <clears throat> and then go up the river, Camden, over to Philly. How long did that take? Uh, I think like about an hour or something. Okay. Yeah. That's like from here, from Santa Monica to downtown LA on a, on a good day. Yeah. You know? Time flies, man. Yeah. Time really <laughs> flies. And so up until that point, what were you just like skating in your driveway and just around your little area? Yeah. Like out front of my house. Mm-hmm. At nighttime, I'd skate under the street light. Yeah. Um, middle school. They're pretty dinky spots, but mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Yeah, little they kid. All when yeah. You're, when you were a kid. For sure. Do you remember your first trick? Shove it? <laughs> kick, my first flip? trick? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Kickflip? I don't remember my first trick. No. No. Now that I think of that. I mean, it was like Ollie. Yeah, yeah okay, but. Uh, like, do you remember your first kickflip? Yes. Yeah, that's the something. See, you I remember. Okay. Okay. So the first kickflip <laughs> wasn't your first trick. Yeah, but like, I was probably like 180 and yeah, shaky ollieing really bad and stuff. <laughs> right. But my first kickflip was um, my neighbor's house that lived across the street from me. Mm hmm. And their driveway, like, kind of sloped down to the right. And I couldn't kickflip on flat. Like, I was trying it forever, like, forever. Couldn't get it around. And then I tried kickflipping off off of the step into the driveway. Mm -hmm. and it wasn't like I was, like, bum, and the driveway down. It was just, like, <laughs> yeah. the driveway happened to slope down. I was just kind of kickflipping straight landed. And gotcha. I was like, whoa, I landed a kickflip. And I feel like that's why I kind of started jumping down stuff. Okay. Because... I realized that sometimes you have more time to yep. flip something when you're like dropping off something. For mm -hmm. sure. So yeah, kickflip yeah. off a curb was like was there kind of wait, a wait, thing wait. for a minute. You and did then, the yeah. first one off a curb? Yeah. That's kind of a crazy one. Because I, I couldn't get it around. Yeah. yeah. But it makes so sense. I was yeah. just like, and the curb, it wasn't like a massive curb. It was like probably like 
they saw it. standard curve yeah right it maybe like hit primo like i almost primo buckled myself and then it like <laughs> i don't know it was a terrible kickflip but no um, but you know when i was a kid skating it was like skating off a curb you had to get like getting the the courage to actually stick it was like something you know what i mean yeah but yeah. a curb it's a bit of makes but it sense was literally the, like it was yeah. so small it wasn't yeah. like i was like did your neighbors ever building did your neighbors ever kick you out my neighbors were really, actually, really cool okay. with it because I was doing it from when I was so little, and it's like yeah. I'm not gonna yell at this fucking little eight year old kid. You know what I mean? Our yeah. neighbor, yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah. And then eventually, I'm just doing it every every single day, yeah. every single night until like eleven, like, and then it's just like normal, like oh yeah, that racket. Yeah, <laughs> it's been happening <laughs> for. Yeah. 10 years you know what i mean i finally move out when i'm 18 yeah. you know and then i'm gone things don't change though you're still skating from morning till night huh um i tried to yeah. <laughs> you know what i mean yeah. but lately obviously i'm getting a little bit older right. I, I, get, right. I get tired, get tired. yeah I'm sore right, <laughs> right. Yeah. sometimes i gotta chill you know maybe i'll go to the pool maybe i'll hop in the hot tub you know what i mean well at the uh halloween thing you said that um you you had a little knee thing or something, right? You, yeah. Uh, and so you were chilling for like a month or two. It was like two and a half. Two and a half. Yeah, I got right. a bone bruise in my knee mm -hmm. at the end of uh, at the end of last year, end of 2017. Mm. Uh, the end of the summer. Yeah. And then pretty much the whole rest of the year was just shot. Really? Yeah. It was that de like a, the bone bruise is just. Uh, yeah, because pretty... if I kept going on it, it would have like messed up my cartilage, mm. and then. See you later skating yeah. when I'm older, you know what right. I mean? Yeah. So right. I just did physical therapy for months. Was it hard not to uh, skate and stuff? Were you getting uh, the itch? I mean, yeah, but it ain't I'm cool. not an idiot. Right? They're going <laughs> to tell me like, oh yeah, if you keep skating, you're going to wear away your cartilage. And I'm like, hmm, should I just not skate for like a couple months or make my time longer? For you sure. Know what I mean? right. So I just literally wouldn't even skate to the store i would not yeah. i didn't skate at all that's like, good though like i literally like put my board down and i just didn't touch it yeah and i was like really bored and didn't really know what to do what would you like, do to kill time video games maybe uh she was a point where i got into video games again a little bit i kind of waver in and out of mm, that yeah me too um i don't know i was just like just going around hanging with people like the time <laughs> time that i normally didn't have because i was skating during the day you know what i mean right yeah i would have people over my house we fucking turn up during the day like, <laughs> it was the summer it was like at the end of the summer so it's still pretty hot so okay, yeah i'd like have people over we'd be at the pool drink a couple beers kick it you know what i mean just i was pretty much just relaxing just having a good time and then going to physical therapy in the morning that's true right so was it weird you just being like what do i this is so this is true this is weird like what do i do i came to terms with the fact that i wasn't going to be able to skate for the rest of the year so mm -hmm. i was just like all right i'm i'm kicking it yeah and you just had moved you were in long beach and moved to hollywood now right yeah but i was i was in hollywood for a year oh, okay. already mm -hmm. so i've been there for like two years and then before that i was in long beach for two years how did you get the bone bruise uh-oh i was um <laughs> wasn't skating uh oh no I, I was skating i was at vans park series contest in huntington beach mm -hmm. and it was like literally like the last five minutes we were actually getting kicked out of the park because it was like the last minutes of practice and we were just talking about 540s and uh someone was like oh can you 540 i think it might have been kevin kowalski mm -hmm. we were all talking about it because people were just busting him and we were like damn could you 540 and i was like oh no like i definitely can't land one i could spin it and bail it but yada 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 yeah. and then i tried one on like literally the stupidest wall i could there's like a quarter pipe that was had more vert than the regular quarter pipe okay and it kind of everybody that was skating it kind of knew that it it could it can kick you out yeah. it pitches, you know what i mean it pitches you yeah. can pitch you out so for some reason i'm talking about oh yeah 540s i can spin them so i'm like Oh, that quarter pipe where I'm dropping in. I'm like, all right, I'll try it right there. So I dropped in and just spun a nose grab like 540. And then when I came around, I like, threw my board and went to go like slide down the tranny. Like, like as if you like just slide your feet down the tranny and kind of put your hand back. For sure, right. But I got kicked out. So Ooh. I thought I was going to land like at the top of the at the top of the tranny and I landed low. Oh, so man. one of my feet didn't even forward. hit the like my back foot. 
didn't even hit the wall and I just like sat on my one leg oh, and I was like oh damn. shit and my leg damn. my knee blew up I could like barely even like walk the whole rest wow. of the night I was like limping around the whole time were that you sucks. scared you did something worse than a bum bruise um you obviously went and got it checked out and everything yeah right I got away. it checked out and they told me I didn't like tear any ligaments or mm. do any of that and he said oh yeah it'll probably like, go down mm. and then I tweaked it again like a week and a half two weeks later when I went to San Francisco oh, wow. and then I got an MRI because it was like I couldn't even like walk up steps I was like oh shit my knee's fucked up Wow. and okay. then I thought I really fucked it up and then they were like <laughs> You have a bone bruise, got the MRI, got a, got the MRI red, you have a bone bruise. Got to chill. And then I was like, oh, yeah, bone bruise probably doesn't take that long. <laughs> Took my physical therapist. He read the, he read the MRI, and he was like, yeah, that's going to be till December, end of December. And I'm like, whoa, really? Oh, man. And then I couldn't skate. Well, so. at least you're, you you got through it. You know, you listened to the, the mean, professionals and you uh, didn't skate. And realistically, it wasn't that bad. You know what I mean? Yeah. I did it. The original injury, I could still skate after, and then I just tweaked it again, yeah. which actually was kind of a blessing in disguise because I wouldn't have known my knee was fucked up in the first place there unless you know. I hurt it again right. to yeah. the point where I actually got an MRI. Mm -hmm. So Hey, everything happens for a reason, man. You know. Yeah, and it could have been worse, you know what I mean? Sure. I could walk around, you know what I mean? I was just... Yeah. I pretty much felt fine other than like if I were to get on my board and go to load up like I was gonna... <laughs> like right after I get past like halfway squat... Mm-hmm. Or just halfway, it was like you're not popping. No, no. Oof. But other than that, I felt fine. I felt like I could, yeah, do everything, which was weird because I felt fine, but I wasn't. So, well, at least you're at least you're all good now. You know, back out, back at it. Yep. Yeah. So when you were, you moved out of your house when you were 18 mm. to Philly. What did you did you just on your 18th birthday, or how did that work out? Did you were you just like I'm out. My friends were going to college there, and everybody was skating there, and I was just driving there oh, a bunch. Okay. And I saved up enough money to live by myself, mm -hmm. so I was like, all right, I'm going to move to Philly. Like, this is what you're supposed People to do, do right? when you get of age to move out. I'm 18. I'm of age. I have money to move out. I'm going to move out and go to Philly and do that. How would you save up money? Job? No, I mean, like, my first job is this. I mean, I'm still kind of... Yeah, he got sponsored before. He was 18. Never had yeah. a real, a regular job. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I love that, uh, man. Shit, yeah, it's crazy. I was a milkman at a health food store. I was just started putting in applications places, and then, like, then I didn't have to. I was, like, I was like Jesus that <laughs> where were you putting in applications like uh, grocery stores or what was it little what uh, would be your dream job at the time my dream job probably I don't, skate I don't even know I mean I didn't even think skating <clears throat> was as a job was obtainable right yeah. really and then it all happened really quick yeah. you know so my first application that I put in was at a rest stop and I lit my mom wanted me to put in applications and she was like oh yeah this place is hiring and I was like <sighs> oh, I <don't> know. <laughs> like on a Jersey Turnpike yes <laughs> it might have been the worst thing ever <laughs> like what would you have done there like what is like a little convenience store type thing or what what is it's it just like, like a rest stop on a road yeah but what do you do that how do you what kind of a job is that I mean, you like clean probably, up or something? I'd or? probably like work at some restaurant in okay, there or gotcha. something. Okay. And, yeah. Yeah. It would have been hell. You had a different life. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> just sucked the soul out of me. Yeah. <laughs> what was that? Was your first sponsor real? My first sponsor. Or who was, paying, who was paying you at the time? Nike. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Well, how did you get on Nike? Like, been, were you, you got on real first then? Yes. It was complicated. My first sponsor. Outside of Extreme Function, which was my first skate shop that I ride, rode for, mm -hmm. um, they helped me get into uh, Tampa Am. And oh, then okay. from there, I had like sponsor me videos. I get my sponsor me videos out, and some people hit me up. And then I started riding for Bones. Jared Lucas hooked me up. Yep, yep. And then I got back from Tampa, and then I got an email from either Mickey or Darren, and they were like, do you have any sponsors? We want to hook you up with Deluxe. Like, 
real thunder spitfire and i was like oh like i ride for bones and they were like yeah you're gonna have to quit that (laughs) (laughs) so how was it calling jared after he hooked you up and and (laughs) he he didn't fuck with me for a while we're cool now he's like we could we could have got you a board sponsor and i was like in my head i was thinking i was like powell or mini look (laughs) so so i'm like i was like i'm gonna do this and then I mean, the How, bros, I love them. And for them to notice you in Tampa Am, do were you? Did you skate good? Did you place or anything? No, I think I just didn't have any sponsors, and okay. I got like I qualified seventeenth. Oh, there you and go. And then I was like, I said, I was giving out my footage and shit. Yeah. I was like, oh, you're check, check out my mixtape. Right. Yeah. Was yeah. that the footage like that you switch flipped the Love Gap? Because that was the uh, first time I ever seen you. I felt like it's a hell of a sponsor me tape. <laughs> yeah, Jesus. I don't know if I did it. I don't think I did that yet. Oh, okay. Yeah, but there is some. There are some other little things in there. Yeah. <laughs> was it? <laughs> what, what was, yeah. Is it online? I don't think so. Like the raw shit. Yeah. yeah. I don't think uh, it did is. Did you put music to the sponsor me tape, or was it no, just raw? No, I think it was. It was classic. Okay. You know. <laughs> okay. Okay. Good. Listen. Good. Listen. <laughs> listen. Yeah. Listen to the sound of the streets. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you, so that your sponsor me video is not anywhere. You, you don't. You didn't put it out on YouTube, or I mean, there's some footage. TBTs maybe out there that some of the footage was in the sponsor me. Okay. But it what like the whole just sponsor me tape. No. I don't think it's. <laughs> I don't think it's a thing. I don't think it's out there. But there is like a sponsor me when I was like really young. Oh, yeah? Yeah, like I have like a helmet in the footage and shit. Oh, nice. (laughs) It's pretty funny. Yeah. Yeah. I actually, I did a nollie heel in it. And it wasn't a bad nollie heel. Nollie heel? Yeah. I looked back and I was like, damn. (laughs) What color was the helmet? Uh, Gray. Gray helmet. Mm -hmm. Was it in the streets or was it a skate park? It was in the streets, but... Damn helmet in the street, <laughs> dude. That's, that's sick. So sick. Yeah. Some Malto shit right there. God, I yeah. love that. My uh, my homie's mom, Chris Tams, like, I would go skate their driveway. But for a while, when we were first going over there, she wouldn't let us skate the driveway like without the helmet, and she would make us leave with the helmet. So uh-huh. it was like we already. Ate. I didn't want to put it down. Yeah. Right. I was just like, yeah, whatever. I got this thing on. I was just, used to wearing it anyway. A little shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> That's tight. So when when you got uh, hooked up by Real, yeah, did uh, you said Mickey called you or you didn't, you didn't was, remember who? It was Mickey or it was Darren? Mickey or Darren. It, yeah. it might have been Darren. That was a good, that must have been a good call though. That must have it been was, a great it was call. A, it was an email. It wasn't a okay. call. Oh, okay. Must have been a good email. Yeah. I was like, what? I was tripping. I was, yeah. at, I was at the homie. I was at the homie, the Travis's house. Okay. Oh, Dominic and Travis. Yeah. <laughs> yep, those guys. And I how, heard them. How old were you? Sixteen or seventeen. Not bad. And then shortly after, like Nike hit me up, mm-hmm. and then that was all thanks to uh, Grandpa and um, and Andy Henry. Who's Grandpa? Uh, he works at Exit Skate Shop. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, and he sick. knew Andy, and he was like gotcha. trying to put in a good word for me. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then with the footage and all this, I would send him footage like every couple, every couple weeks. Okay. Maybe Damn. like every two weeks, I would, I would send him just like with stacking a, a footage. Cu- <laughs> I know. No, just like a couple clips, mm-hmm. maybe like three. Yeah. I didn't want to send them too much because then you know when you're like looking at like raw footage, it's like. You know what I mean, like, I was a shrimp. It's not that good. Yeah, you, know what I mean? you don't <laughs> send them four minutes of footage. They're gonna look at a minute of it. And be yeah, like, right, you send the best, over, over the kill. best of the best. You know what I mean? Yeah, a couple best clips. Was yeah, yeah I would just send them just like a couple clips. Yeah. Oh, I'm still skating. Yeah, you know. And you're and getting this. how many boxes of sh- how many shoes in a box? You think? Uh, big boxes of shoes or definitely not big no, boxes. Couple, couple. Pairs, no, couple it's not like nowadays. People are getting laced. I up. know, like because people be flipping through their shit. Yeah, nowadays, like oh the kids are so good. Like yeah. it's crazy. Yeah, the switch wear, regular wear. <laughs> but uh, and then uh, four star hit me up, and then I was kind of just riding for the for the the sponsors I've gotten since I was a shrimp. That's since amazing. Forever. I mean, good list right there. I know for the, all these people to hit you up too. It's just it's like wild, wild. Yeah, and four yeah, star. Oh my gosh. Oh, actually, Tyler Tefty also. Tyler Tefty was 
was uh, before Andy Henry. Mm. So Grandpa talked to Tyler Tefty, actually. Okay. And then eventually I started talking to Andy Henry because Andy Henry was the team manager. Yeah. Got that little scrambled up. It was yeah. a long time ago. Oh, it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Andy Henry's a man, though. Yeah. yeah. He's a good dude. Yeah. Tyler Tefty is, too. Sick. So now you're living in Philly. You got the Nike. You real four-star. Four-star. Came is, later, maybe. It kind of was like within the same like couple months or maybe wow. like a month. It was like probably like three weeks after. Were you filming like local videos at that point? Like sabotage what? stuff? Yeah, yeah, sabotage. Mm, no, right. that was, the sabotage wasn't a thing. That wasn't until I was like already living in Philly for a little bit. Oh, okay. But I knew all those dudes that we all, you know what I mean, mm-hmm. go to the same skate park and this and that. What was your first real skate part that you filmed? Um, <clears throat> In the real video. That was it, the first first because video part. I started skating for real, mm-hmm. and they brought me out to California. Okay. And I was filming, you know, and they were like, we wanted you to film for our video. And at the time, I was filming for the homies skate mm. videos. And uh, that footage just had to, whatever was good enough went to the real video, or just went to them. Right. And then their video just didn't come together and then it kind of just didn't happen and everybody just kind of put the footage out on like separate parts or oh, this gotcha. or that. okay. Yeah. Wow. Just kind of real video was like my first part, I I guess. That's amazing. How was it coming I mean, out? other than the helmet one. <laughs> <laughs> but because that had music to it. Oh, so, what, what, what song did you I don't use? even know what it was. You don't even remember what it was? Yeah, but if you pull it up, We'll pull it up, yeah, dude. We'll put the link in the bio. For sure. <laughs> yeah. we're gonna, you know. it's, it's a treat. It's going to be a treat. I didn't pick the song, though. No, you didn't. No, I did not. Who was editing song. these videos for you, then? Uh, C-Tams. C-Tams? Chris Tams. Okay. Yeah. I thought maybe Grandpa was, maybe. <laughs> no. No? Grandpa's not as old as he sounds. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you were skating a lot. When did you start skating with, like, Tom Asta and, like, like Ann Travis and those guys? When I was, like... 17 like 16 17 16 like kind of all you know what i mean i like moved to the i started going to the city and then they were going to the city when i was like 15 and then i wasn't really friends with them for a little bit and then you know what i mean end of 15 everybody kind of started coming together and then we, i started going to their house we'd make missions out to the city philadelphia yeah and everybody started skating to, together i probably started skating with tom like late 16 17 Cause I remember seeing footage of you guys skating the X Park. Yes, and that's that was... where like kind of everybody from the area. We, would... ooh, nice dude. Kind of like all... Rodman's, Rodman rebound skills. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we all came together, X Park. You know what I mean? I've even a lot of people in the area just from the East Coast. I met just from going to X Park or like contests in New York and all that. What was the X Park? Was it like an indoor, uh, wooden park? Yep. I think. Okay. Was, it was in Pennsylvania outside of it was in the outskirts of Philadelphia right. in the northeast it looked, mm. it looked like that was like your, your training grounds yeah yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was in there and my mom would literally bring me like anytime I wanted to go Woodward did you yeah break? were I, you a camper or did you go there not as a camper I got to go twice with like kind of being a camper I like won some shit oh you did yeah me and there was like a game of skate at X Park, okay. and the prize was going to Woodward Camp. So I was like, "Fuck, I gotta win this!" And then it ended up coming down to me and Tom Asta. <laughs> yeah, and right. Yeah, and he he got first, and I got second. And I didn't think I was like, I was like, "Shit, fuck!" And, like, <laughs> yeah. and then first and second got to go to Woodward Camp. So I was like, "Yeah!" Oh, so you and Asta <laughs> got to go together. Yep. Wow. To go. For a whole week. Yeah. Yeah. I'd be kind of burnt if they were like, yeah, you get to for three days. Couple days. <laughs> <laughs> you, got second. you got second, so. You yeah, have to ask to get to stay for seven, you're only three and a half. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But uh, let me tell you, <laughs> Tom, speechless. Yeah, oh, yeah. I was like, let me tell you nothing. <laughs> no, but like, we're, like, like all we're talking. Tom is, Tom is on some next level. I, I, hey, you know, shout out to Tom Astor. It's, it's yeah. insane. Anybody who doesn't fuck with him, y'all need to, because he's really good. Yeah. Well, it's funny to see both of you guys skate together. Like, it, it, yeah, you we guys, skate way different. Yeah, you skate way different, yeah. but you guys are just like it's. You guys don't you, stop. You guys are, like Tom. Yeah. Tom's like ledge game just got. It's like the precision he had, and then see, seeing you like you, you, 
Like you kind of always skate tranny, but you've been going hard. Yeah. Like you start going hard the tranny and like everything. It's kind of like yeah. see you guys kind of progress in your ways. It's pretty. Ronnie yeah. Sandoval and uh, Raven Touche and Grant really inspired me to mm. be like, yo, like this is sick. But I kind of lost a lot of tranny tricks within the last year. Just because you got hurt, or just because you have just been I, I don't know. I just haven't like when I first like really got the tranny bug. I was learning all these tricks, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then, like, you know what I mean? Hey, it's street skating. Like, what's up with street skating? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? And then I wouldn't really, you know what I mean? I'd do my, like, backside air, frontside yeah. air, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? But I wouldn't do, like, the other random shit, like, slob fast plant disasters and, like, body jars and all that. I kind of, like, let all that stuff slip away. Mm-hmm. Not that I was, like, really ever that good at it, but I was, like, kind of chipping away at it to possibly be better at it. Yeah. And then I kind of just... But like, dude, that, a lot of people have that. Going the tranny and the street skating, that's like... You, people usually choose one or the other. Mm. You're kind of one of the... Nowadays. Uh, true, true. The younger kids are... Just, like I was saying the other day at, at Phoenix Sam, this dude... Uh, from the kid from Tampa, this guy Jake Alardi, he does a 540 on the huge like wall or the yeah. quarter pipe. Comes down his back when he fakey 50 down the hubba. Yeah. And you're like... How the fuck are you putting those two tricks Jake? together? That's his name? I think it's Jake Alardi. Word. Yeah. Because I remember I went to like Tampa Pro like maybe two or three years ago yeah. and they just made that, or maybe they didn't just make it, but they just made like the, actually, yeah, they just made that Converse like. The concrete bowl thing? The concrete bowl. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, but they didn't have the 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 concrete walls other than the, the doorway. Yeah, they yeah, They just yeah. had two blue quarter pipes. Mm-hmm. And uh, he was just five forty and all over the place. <laughs> just like, I did, he was like McTwist kid. Like I, that's yeah. I knew him by for like maybe like a year. <laughs> McTwist, or McTwist kid. McTwist kid. Yeah, because I would go back the next year, he'd just be McTwisting. Yeah, he's just like McTwisting his head off. Like, <laughs> <laughs> how was it skating that bowl jam? Because I saw you skating it before. That looks just hectic. Yeah, after that one clip of those two people colliding, <laughs> two, yeah. and they're like literally like they collide and they almost like turn into one person and they're like suspended in the air and then they drop and they're both like lifeless. Yeah, that what? clip really like. Yeah, was gnarly. He's just like, ah. I mean, I don't want the front side air over the disaster that bad, <laughs> 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 or, or front side air over the doorway that bad. Like, I'll pass. Yeah, skate wing's a lot less hectic. Yeah. It's cool to just be able to chill and not like, uh, like right. that's how Texas the, death match. That's how the, that session is. <laughs> like, For sure. Whew, like, yeah. I didn't skate it this year. I was tired too. I oh like, really? I started cramping up. I was like, nah. Was this before or after you waved the left jaw? Off? Uh, this was after. Okay. <laughs> that was so funny, dude. <laughs> yeah. Did you? You probably didn't even realize you did that until I, like you saw like, yeah. the post. And, no, no, I did. Like oh, you I. Did. Okay. What? I'll give you a little beside, behind the scenes. Yeah. Yes, this is please. what happened. Did the back big spin over the hip? Mm-hmm. Almost down my line. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did the back spin, big spin over the hip? And I'm coming up for a back 5 front 180. Back 5 front 180? Yes. Okay. Way too close to the ledge. And the ledge came up way quicker than I thought. I didn't plan for this. Right. You know, I was like, I'll just throw a back 5 front 1 in there. You know what I mean? Right. Came up way quicker than I thought. Was way closer to the ledge, like I said. And I was like, that's not happening. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, peace. That's not happening. And then I was def- I was laughing at myself doing it because I was that's. That was my reaction. I was like, this yeah. ain't happening. Fuck that thing. The whole crowd kind of and started laughing too. I was just too. like, hey, fucking got up on the deck and then did something on the flat bar. I mean, I saw it, it kind of went viral. It, it, I, just, I saw it everywhere. It was amazing. Yeah, I was like, fuck that. Like, that. It, kind of had some, it kind of had some steez to it I too. I loved it. it. Was yeah. Like, oh. I, was like, I was like, setting up and I was like, ah. <laughs> Does it trip you out when you see stuff like that? Just like a... Not even a trick, but I mean, just a little wave off. You that's know? definitely better than the years previous. Like one time I threw up. Oh, seriously? Like at the end of my line. I was like, oh, shit. I was just like feeling nervous and okay. like, just exhausted. Oh, you know what I mean? Well, exhausted, dude, you-, you know? And then at the end of my run, I was like going up for a front side flip. I was like, oh, I feel like I'm going to throw up. And then I bailed the front side flip and sure enough, threw up all over the course. <laughs> On the just, course. Yes, all over the course. Ooh, wow. And I still have people saying, like, <laughs> You, you're gonna throw up this time. <laughs> like, so now you're um, 
still in Philly, right? How long did you live in Philly for? 18 to 26, so <laughs> I mean, seven years. When did you, how long ago did you move out to LA? Almost four years ago, okay. but I have a house in Philly. Oh, you do? So I just kind of go back there like whenever I want. Oh, wow. But well, it's like. Who lives in the house right now? Like, I had right? homies that lived in there, but. Mm. Yeah. It didn't work out. Start trashing the place? No, nah, no, nah, not even. It's a nice place. I went there once. It's a nice place, dude. Yeah, it Thanks, was, man. Yeah, it was like four. <laughs> it was like four stories tall. I felt like four stories. What? Yeah, it's it's like a nice little. It's not like a house. It's a townhouse. Gotcha. You know what I mean? Okay, basement, garage, it's maybe or multi level. Multi. I like you multi levels. I mean? Got a roof deck. Roof deck. Yeah. Look at you. Huh? Yeah. The setup's pretty nice. You know Sick. I mean? So what? It's just empty right now. You just don't have anybody. Should Airbnb it. I uh, know. You can make some cheddar but that's a whole thing you gotta be landlord yes i am completely aware this has been a it's, <laughs> it's talked about a lot yeah. <laughs> I know. and then i just need to make steps to that yeah. and i haven't been there especially with the way the end of my year went i got hurt and then i was going to physical therapy out here actually pretty much all of 2017 i was like Pretty much off and on hurt since okay. February. Oh wow, jeez! Like off and on hurt, getting hurt, going to physical therapy, not being enough between trips and this and that. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. I kept going back to California and doing physical therapy, and then I finally got better and skated that Vance Park Series contest, and then got hurt like, my other knee. Wow! Before <laughs> I even started the contest, jeez. But, so I would have been in Philly a lot, but. My physical therapist was in California, so okay. I was just going back out to California. Physical therapy, physical therapy, yeah. physical therapy. Right. And then finished it up at the end of 2017, mm -hmm. and then it's the winter, so why would I go back exactly. to Philly? Right. Yeah, and seriously. then here we are now. But it's, it must be nice, though, to have a place just to go. When you go there, you know where you're going to go, and it's just, it must be nice. Yeah. Yeah. It is nice. If I get, go out there, you give me the key? <laughs> Hang out for a little bit? No. Oh, it's odd. Yeah, no, well, no we'll trust to, me. We'd have to. We'd have to talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> doors. Certain doors would be locked. Oh, know, oh, okay. He's got. <laughs> he's got <laughs> locks got on some of his doors. Whoa, I, I do. I know, I'm a good lock picker, though. You don't know. You may have to. Really? Oh, yeah. Maybe you can't stay there then. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, was it far from like uh, downtown? Where... I could skate there in like ten minutes. Do your friends ever give you <laughs> shit for not being back in Philly? Uh, no, literally mm -hmm. like every single time I leave, I come back and they're like, oh, we thought you weren't coming back. And I'm like, <laughs> I have a house here, yeah. my family's here. I don't understand why I wouldn't come back. Like, yeah. it doesn't make any sense. Yeah. <laughs> but, and I, I was in a relationship for a while too. So, mm. I mean, I don't know why. Out here or out there? Out there. Oh, well, that's great though. Uh, how, how often do you go back and forth though to fill? I mean, like you said, if it's winter, you're not you're not out, yeah, you're out here. But. Lately, with the way the last year has went, yeah, I haven't really been out there. Gotcha. But I would like to be out there more this year, especially when it comes to be summer, mm -hmm. spring. Right. Spring's really nice. Summer's really hot. Go to like Ishka Bibbles or something. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I mean, actually. Oh. A uh, cheesesteak spot out here in California, booze. Oh, where's oh, that? Yeah, it's in Hollywood. Oh, seriously? Or yeah. no, it's kind of like Los Feliz. It's over like, by Lockwood. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. I never even. I, yeah. I always look off, for uh, cheesesteak. Off Franklin places. or. F There's another one in Los Feliz. That's really good too. Found Franklin. One of those. Okay. One of those. I'll have to check it out. I Just, love cheesesteaks. Yeah. Oh, love them. So good. <sighs> I talked to them. They were they're from South Philly. They moved out here. They couldn't find a good cheesesteak. Okay. Then they how how do you, how does it compare though? Uh, Philly cheesesteaks. They, yeah, they no, they're the from Philly. That that's a Philly cheesesteak. Some people mm. argue the water's different or the ingredients, <laughs> and you know. I mean, how come on, it? it's the bread. <laughs> oh, yep. is they that got, it? They got the right bread. Okay. Oh. Rolls. Okay. And they chop up the steak, and mm. then uh, and then it's kind of it's kind of crispy, like the little. Steak chops, oh, yeah. you know what I mean. Sometimes, like when people make ch cheesesteaks out here, it's like, it's like steak they don't, homes. yeah, they don't chop it up enough. Make my mouth water. All I'm saying is, <laughs> I know, it sounds you, so good right now. If yeah. you go there, it's you're, you're gonna be like, all right, Bob's. You said what about so, that? What about ahead, that? I'm sorry, uh, cilantro. I, you don't even have to. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what was cilantro? <laughs> the place he always the, goes. The place is called cilantro. Yeah. <laughs> it's common misconception. People are like, oh yeah, cilantro, and it's like, oh yeah. 
They'll be like, yeah, I don't really like cilantro. Right. I'm like, no, I'm talking about a restaurant right. that yeah. happens to be at a gas station. But if I'm going, <laughs> if I'm taking you there, I'm not going to tell you it's at a gas station because people like to be judgmental. <laughs> what, tell me about this cilantro is at a gas station. What is it? I mean, if you tune into my story once in a while. <laughs> I tune in all the time. I must miss that. I, I, I always just, see it. I'm always like, damn, you really like that spot, man. It's, Wait, it's good. If yeah. you look it up, like it's like probably like one of the best. Like five stars type spot? Like like for a quick little spot? Yeah. Cilantro. They know you, you there? in these little yeah. cutty spots? Uh, scuba. Oh. <laughs> Scuba's got yeah, spots. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Scuba's okay. got Hell spots. Yeah. It's tight. I'm sorry for blowing up your spots, Scuba. Yeah. Scuba's got spots. So. I gotta check this place out. Next time I need gas, I'll go to uh, Chevron you can, and cilantro. You can get, <laughs> let's go back to uh, real. Okay. First time out here san francisco you meet up with the, all the boys Wait, did you meet up with the whole team at first my first time out here mm-hmm. was for the wallenberg contest and it was for a couple days oh i just had switch flipped or they heard that i switch flipped the the love gap okay and they're like all right come out and switch flip the wallenberg oh, that's what they s- <laughs> for the contest you know what i mean okay or come skate the contest mm-hmm. probably gonna try a switch flip because you did it that love gap. <laughs> yeah. you know so I come out, I'm out here, contest is about to happen, I go there the day before and I'm like trying to switch flip the two, I break my truck and oh, then I wow. gotta put new trucks on and mm. everything's just wacky. Yeah. I go to the contest, this is my first time in California. And oh, the contest was chaos. The co- like, it's Chris Cole, there's all these people, Phelps is screaming happy people. <laughs> I'm just like at the top of the, I'm just at the top of the rolling, like what the fuck, like how am I in this contest, like randomly. <laughs> And my trucks are so crazy mm-hmm. that nothing's nothing's working. Dude. No, like I'm trying to do the switch flip down the gap. Mm-hmm. I'm catching switch hard flips. That's how. <laughs> like they, I swear, people probably thought I was trying switch, switch hard, hard flips. flips. Yeah, it was so bad. And I'm like, oh my god, like I'm skating so bad. It's like this is this is way out of my league. Like. Mm. What? Are, oh my God! What am I doing here? And then they they break the contest down. It's like, all right, like Kevin Mar- Romar sticks a nollie back three down it. Dude, right. the, that's it, gnarly. His board snaps in half. Mm. Phelps grabs one board, throws it into the crowd, and then throws the other half into the other crowd. I'm like, he just stuck that. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like yelling about like, I don't know, like get this kid out of here. Yeah, yeah. like hey, like random people get out of here, and I'm like, I'm random. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then I guess like Jim or Mickey or someone talked to Phelps and was like, Oh yeah, this this guy's our guy. He can mm, skate. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I'm feeling weird because I just seen Kevin Romar stick a nollie back three down the thing. <laughs> right. And get really close to an A B D trick that's really gnarly. Yeah. And, it and really I'm long. and I'm and I'm catching switch hard flips. And I'm trying to switch. So this, is what, this, is, this is what's going through my head. You know what I mean? So I'm like up at the top of the ramp, like, what the fuck? Like, so I'm like, look, he kind of scared to drop in because I'm right. like, my board's gonna get thrown any which way too. Cause, you don't because you don't know that they talk to Phelps. No. Yeah. So I'm just like, what the fuck? Like they're like, all right, Chris Cole. So the one Lindsey Robertson, yeah. yada 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 you got it in the shot. You can skate, and I'm just like. Do they even know what I'm trying? I'm just like, what? <laughs> they don't know. <laughs> so, Brand new trucks that want to skate Wallenberg? Holy shit. No. Yeah, and <laughs> the whole scenario for me was just trippy because this is my whole- first time out of California. I haven't even like seen that many, many pros <laughs> or like the people that I, because I'm on the internet. I was on the internet watching everything. So I know who everybody is right you know what i mean i'm like oh my god i'm just flinging switch hards down the <laughs> so was that the one there like chris, chris cole trey flipped it like second try or something we're there yep. that, i was there right yeah, we were, were there, there. Yeah. yeah yeah dude yeah. lindsey probably were like who Damn, is that kid's catching switch hard flips <laughs> <laughs> i probably was yeah i probably was crazy like proper kick, ones too yeah, like kicking them out yeah. <laughs> why is he kicking that out just, just landed already <laughs> yeah it wasn't like i was catching every try it was just yeah. i remember vividly in my mind like trying to switch flip and it just like switch hard and i was like 
Well, how was it rolling down that the little bank ramp? Uh, switch. The little rolling switch. I was actually dropping in regular, and then when I would get like 10 feet before the gap, I would jump around. No. Seriously. No, wow. I'm, I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, I'm surprised <laughs> Belton didn't throw you out earlier. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine that, pump down the ramp, and then you're just like, I know, right? <laughs> Phelps would have broken your board for you. Yeah, yeah. That'd be sick. To, you should do that in a spot. Just like charge at it right before. Just charge. Yeah. Did you ever go back to Waldenburg and do anything down it? I tried something like maybe like a year and a half ago. It blew my heel out. Oh, really? Yeah. Gonna go back maybe? Uh, yeah. no. No. <laughs> <laughs> what were you, were you? I mean, is it how much longer is it gonna be there? I don't know. And don't they like? I feel like when people usually skate it, they like queue up some like they queue up the ramp, right? Yeah, you gotta bring the ramp. Yeah, so I'm oh, like, they have a ramp. At then I have to like, thing. yeah, I have to call them. Tony, yeah. where's the getting? We're getting a shot today. <laughs> like, <laughs> made the rolling. Yeah. Yeah. Need the rolling. Yeah. What would you try if you were if you were to skate it now? I tried a front heel. Mm. Oh, holy! I could see you doing that easy. But blew the heel out, man. dude. He's that's never, gnarly. Never, yeah, never went back. <laughs> you got those good though. Got them all right from yeah. time to time. They come and go like right. a lot of tricks. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? I remember the um, like, same contest you're talking about. Was that the one where, yeah, Lindsey Robertson back heeled it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And he like just a boss. Landed mm-hmm. like he was just skating like off a curb or something. You know, like he did yeah. it so chill. I think Lizard King even firecrackered the last. Chair, yeah. yeah. Was, that was a crazy little contest, I remember. Yeah. Chris Cole was just put on a clinic. But you could, Did you go up skating with him? Some, I mean, he's a little older than you, but he was... You guys skated uh, back we, then. Yeah, we would... I would see him from time to time at X Park, and it was in his like, it was in his hot wax days. Oh, like, yeah. so sick! Like long hair with he had like bandanas, he, bandanas and he had like the leather, flare. the leather wristbands. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like that. Chris Cole was right. buck. <laughs> <laughs> Chris Cole was sick. Not that this one's any less sick, but you know, <laughs> yeah, that was like, that you, was like yeah. my. I was like a kid, like watching like the videos. He got so twice, you know, Chris Cole. Yeah, it was, like dude. the dude where I grew up from. You know, mm-hmm. it's crazy. Did you have so a favorite like, skater growing up? Rodney Mullen. Rodney Mullen. <laughs> <laughs> <Really>? <laughs> no, like when I was a shrimp, like obviously, okay. like like Rodney Mullen's crazy. He's doing all these things, <laughs> <laughs> weird shit, dude. That you like, probably never seen. Yeah, making stuff up. Right. The old brain. <laughs> <laughs> Breaking it down in like a math. Medical equation. Right. This is why this happened. <laughs> He's like, so was like, I can't frontside flip. He's like, this is why. <laughs> like a bunch of numbers right. and stuff. He's like, I crunched yes. the numbers. Here's what you need to do. Was that any, what? Any videos you grew up watching? Sorry. Oh flip yeah. Flip sorry. Mm. One step beyond. Oh yeah. Oh Roger. Uh, and yeah, right. Was was first. Mm. So, I didn't have any. My mom wouldn't buy me any video. She bought me the board. Yeah. She didn't have money to buy all the extra stuff. So that's the the homies had that that's, stuff. Yeah, you but, must have seen my part in your right. Been like, whoa, definitely, who is this? <laughs> definitely, <laughs> definitely seen you in your right. Man. <laughs> <laughs> definitely first video. He's like, Where's first video you yeah. watched? No, the first one you watched. Yeah, because I I didn't see anything for a while. Oh. I, my mom wouldn't buy me. My mom wouldn't buy yeah. me videos, and uh, I didn't really skate with anybody for the first like couple mm, of years okay right i was just so low in the driveway didn't have anything to go off of so yeah. things you can imagine things are going slow right you know <laughs> <laughs> just not knowing anything yeah the first, the first couple of years it was very very slow and uh around like 14 15 is like where i had a breakthrough where i was like actually like learning new tricks and like could just figure stuff out mm-hmm. like for, like 14 like when I was 14 I could tray flip down stuff better than I could kick flip it like I had the worst kick flips oh shit like when I was a kid like kick flip was not my move <laughs> I remember like when X Park first got redone my tricks down the double set I could tray flip it and uh, my my other one was like a nollie shove nolly back shove nolly oh. back shove yeah you should bring it back dude nolly back shove nolly one. front shove's wet down something? Is that wait, wait, wait? You're talking about like behind you? That's the one that I would do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Nolly the other way. Yeah. That's tight. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. do that down something like Reynolds. <laughs> you, yeah, like, yeah, dude. He used to, in the bigger video and yeah. that one he lands, he's like leaning all oh, four yeah. like, <laughs> like this. You're not down for the other one. I mean, 
Come on. <laughs> Fakey's fakey. Fakey's 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 gnarly. But no, yeah. no. Hey, add, a, add, a, <laughs> add a heel flip into it. An Ali Varial heel. Yeah. I've seen Chico does them really good. Yeah, Romar. I've seen ex, oh, yeah. Ex, ex, in my opinion, mm -hmm. acceptable Nolly Varial heels. I'm like that's a good Nolly Varial heel. Right. But it's not, not for you. It's not a trick that I would be yeah. like, hey, like if someone was like, hey, like. What trick do you want? Like, I got you on anything. Like, the last thing I would say. <laughs> not a <laughs> burial heel. Yeah. I want Nolly Shove, late 180. What, what is that? <laughs> do the Nolly Shove of the nose, uh -huh. catch it, turn late 180. It's like like a nolly, front side? A, or like a Nolly like Big Spin? Big or like spin? Nolly Shove yeah. it and then back to like. like front side 180. That's a Nolly Big Spin, like, bro. No. No, like exactly. Nolly Shove, catch the shove, and then turn late 180. Front, front 180. Oh, like, back front. the way you came. Yeah. Front shove, Jesus nolly front Christ. shove. So it's like a like a pop shove rewind, but nolly shove rewind. Right. Yeah. I feel like if you said nolly shove rewind, we would have gotten. We went, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right yeah. So how about Roger's nine uh, nolly pop rewind trick? No. Take other I, I, I actually kind of like those fake out tricks where could, you're just could, like, whoa, it could, it could be cool. Sean's tripping. Well, I mean, about, everybody has their own opinion. That's the that's thing. true. Someone right. that's watching. Viewers, mm -hmm. maybe you like very <laughs> nolly very heels. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> Me personally, not my trick. Not your trick. But I've seen nolly very heels that I approve. Right. Any other tricks you think that you don't like personally? I the list goes on and on, but <laughs> you know what I mean. I, Off the top of your head, uh, I don't like when people do that. Like they ollie and mm -hmm. then they grab their board fast plant. Mm. And they put their back foot on something, and then jump off. Oh, got you. I, I mean, I've seen, like I said, like I said before, with an Oliver Hill. I've right. seen cool ones <laughs> where I'm like, oh, that was cool. Oh, but right. like normally, when I see that trick, I'm like, oh, pass. <laughs> it's like it's hard to get me juiced on that one. Right. Yeah. I mean, like I said, the list goes on and on. But I, there a lot of people have for sure. What's your got their own moves, opinion? You know yeah. what I mean? What's your thought about the sex change? The sex change? Yeah, I've seen ones alike. <laughs> <laughs> body burial? Yeah, yeah. But you know what I mean? I've gotten into the trend a little bit. Throw a body bur body burial in there just because I want to like learn a trick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but uh. It's kind of a weird thing coming up now. Brad Cromer had that, had a good one, but or Brad had Cromer one. had that yeah, one, yeah, over the bump to bar yeah, where, he kept, where he kept going up. Yeah, yeah. Was, See, yeah. that one was that one was that's a, that's, that's how you do it. That's one of the ones. Yeah, that's yeah. one of the ones. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> when go. Brad Cromer did that, everyone everyone was like, "Wow." He kept going up. Yeah. yeah. I mean, skating's all personal, right? Yeah. Yeah. You know, you like what you like. You don't like what you don't like. A feeble or Smith grind, mm -hmm. and you bring it up to fifty. Oh, doesn't matter if you're going back Smith, front feeble, front Smith, back, back feeble. No if good. If you bring it up to a fifty, uh -huh. that shit's dry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like just yeah. feeble grind or just fifty, <laughs> right? Don't, yeah. don't hit up. Or just swing it over into a lip, or bring it over into a, a Smith to front feeble, or just don't, don't do it at all. <laughs> just don't touch fifty, or like. <laughs> What, what about I never even thought about the Smith 5.0. I was going to say. I mean, that's kind of like extra, but that's better than just dropping it. <laughs> right. Yeah. What about what, when they used to do like this crook back lips on rails? Huh? Bastion that, would do them, a, yeah, you know? Yeah, like, I, I, feel, I feel like that, that trick has a weird place in my heart. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Because it's like... I never really liked it as a kid, mm -hmm. but if you see anybody do that shit now, you're like, no! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're, you're gonna get hyped. I've never, <laughs> like, within the last 10 years, I haven't seen a crook back lip and been bummed. Right. I'm like, oh, crook back lip. <laughs> Truthfully. It's, it's, a, it's a random one to throw out. It, yeah, it yeah. kind of catches yeah. you off guard, yeah. And I'm not gonna try. I'm not gonna no. crook back lip. If I am, I'm, it's all jokes, <laughs> but. I want to see Every time that I've seen her crook back lip, I'm like, oh shit, crook back <laughs> lip. Let it bolt. You should do a hey, hey, do a front crook to front lip. Front crook to front lip? Yeah, to bring it back oh, down. <laughs> that one isn't a part of my childhood. No, yeah. like, <laughs> no but I'm saying like, yeah, yeah. Well, I was doing it in one of the first videos I ever seen. Yeah, you know what yeah. Yeah. So it's like, right. kind of has a place in my heart. You know what I mean? Yeah, crook back lip. You know what I mean? Like, bashed it. But. <laughs> front crook front lip is just extra that's like well listen man at least you're in a category that not many people can say they're in sody 
Ooh, ooh. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. He squeezed you out that year. I was almost gonna win that year mm-hmm. shot. I think I got second. You think? Oh, was yeah. it? <laughs> well, they don't really have you know first, oh, yeah, second, true. third. So I true. think I got second. But I don't know. I just tried keeping it pushing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, when you got the call, did Phelps call you? No, I was uh, at the video premiere for Chronicles. Okay. Three, two, yeah, the yeah, one that I was in. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Um. I was. We were doing like a video tour, and mm-hmm. I went to. I was coming back from Paris, and there was a premiere in Philadelphia. Okay. And I like was not about to, uh, not about to make it. It was heavy blizzard oh wow. i just flew in and uh school was calling me like all crazy like you gotta make this premiere and i'm like dude like there's a blizzard out here <laughs> my, my mom wasn't even there she couldn't even make it there oh like, shit to the premiere like it was completely snowed out oh, wow like Send me there's barely room. there's really barely any yeah. but like there's philly homies that lived close but yeah like, we thinking like why is scuba asking me like why is he hell bent on me going there i wasn't even thinking no. about it that much you okay. know what i mean i was well, just like dude from philly yeah i know but still like rare, you know yeah so i ended up taking like a cab to like uh-huh. central station and then taking uh the train to philly okay. and then going home and then just making it to the premiere and you know what i mean oh the premiere oh, the video you know, yeah seeing the homies and then the video comes on and uh I think my part's about to come on or something or the video is just about to come on and they bring me up on stage mm-hmm. and then Scuba's supposed to be in like Florida or something. It's mm. like Scuba and Donnie and I get, get on the stage to like say some things mm-hmm. before the video and I just see Scuba and Donnie in the front in the front row and I'm like what the fuck you know, all of a sudden like Phelps grabs me and I was just like what the fuck and then I got super drunk wow <laughs> yeah. end of story end of story <laughs> that's great that's how it should be blizzard mode I love it blizzard now. mode it was really like Bad. blizzarding yeah oh. I mean, you and then, guys, and you California boys hey we don't know about that we had a blizzard last uh, I think last night it was pretty windy <laughs> yeah. kind of windy it was kind of pretty windy yeah. no, it was pretty windy it was really windy like a palm tree fell down yeah, yeah. really bad things this you know? California yeah. weather's getting crazy it's raining I know <laughs> that's what I'm saying I literally was like last week I was hot because I just got off a trip mm-hmm. for two weeks and it rained pretty much the whole time and I came back here and it was raining and I was like fucking moved to California <laughs> <laughs> fucking rain it rains like what seven days out for? of here. <laughs> What did I move here for? <laughs> Skate Beebles Park? Yeah. yeah. I was actually, when I was hurt, I was actually going to the park a lot and letting people in. Oh, you and were? just like watching people skate. How was that though? Did you just need to feel like you were like still like... I mean, I would go with the bros. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, but I'm still you can't it. skate though. So is it, was it hard here. not to be able to skate when you were... And watch like I skating? said, I came, like, to, I came to terms with it. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So, yeah. You know what I mean? Backseat driving. Like, no, bro, you, you got to kick a little left. <laughs> yeah. that, that front side flip's not going to work like that, bro. You got to kick a little left. Skate coach. I love it. Nah, not really, but <laughs> low, low key. But I was just kicking it. You know what I mean? Just watching the bro skate. Listen, I would out. take lessons from a shot any day. Yeah. All right. Let's go back to uh, real. Okay. How long were you am for, for real before you um, turned pro? Incubation period. Incubation, yes. Yes. <laughs> Before I uh, bloomed into uh, the, the professional, professional skateboarder you are today. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. I turned pro like at the end of when I was 18. Oh, really? And how, how did they turn you pro? Was, was it a surprise uh, or did you just get a box of boards in the mail? I feel like Jim and all those guys like yeah, there was something special. Yeah, you sure. know, there was they flew me out here and I had a I had a down wing. Oh, your wing was hurt. Yeah, I hurt, <laughs> okay. I hurt my arm. I was in a sling, mm-hmm. and uh, they flew me out here and they're like, "Oh, we got this demo," you know. Okay. And all the sponsors of the demo were your my sponsors, which I really. I didn't even think about it that much. Okay. I was just pissed I was in California and couldn't skate. Right. Yeah. I feel really bad. Hey, guys, sorry for how big of an asshole I was being, but I was pissed. <laughs> <You> were- <laughs> I was going to all these spots and just being out here, and I just was in a sling, and I was like, 
I don't know why I'm out here, man. I'm like, <laughs> right. I could just be at home, like, healing. Like, I'm just looking at all these spots. Like, sick. I'm just, like, walking around complaining yeah. everywhere. Like, yeah. sick. Like, I bet I, they were laughing, though, because yeah, like, he has no idea. Yeah. Yeah. This is, like, this is almost great. I'm just like, yo, like, can I go home? Like, I don't need to be at this demo. You know what I mean? I'm like, this is, like, what? Yeah. And then, sure enough, we get to the demo, and I'm, like, thirsty. Mm -hmm. I'm like, trying to skate the demo or sling on <laughs> you know what I mean and I'm like I cracked you know what I mean like it was like the last day or something okay the last two days and I'm like alright like I'm Just gonna try around. to get yeah, I'm gonna demo? roll around and then my arm it was like I went home and they were like, "Oh, you're good to skate," but okay. I wasn't. I wasn't really sure at this point. You didn't, I get, you didn't get the. I didn't get the, the okay. The and yeah. in my head, I could have like fell on my shoulder and they, fucked the whole thing. How did you know? hurt your shoulder to begin with? I'm dislocated not exactly it or what did you do? Sure, because I hurt my shoulder a couple times. I separated this one mm. and I separated this one, both snowboarding. Oh shit! And then I also. I yeah, actually 100K? think that was before that. Yeah, hundred k. Oh, dear. oh really? But I think it was before that I was skating. Uh, the Thrasher Park. Mm. I think that's yes. I was skating the Thrasher Park, and I went to go Smith around the corner, mm -hmm. and uh, I don't know what I did wrong. I just like fucked up, and literally just like the the corner here, I like fucked up mm -hmm. before the turn and just jumped into the coping and Ooh. like just fucked my whole shit up. Wow! So you flew home to heal up out there, got your sling, and then they flew you back out for the the demo. Yeah. And so what happened at the demo? You were pissed. And finally, you got like, the oh, last demo. God. Yeah. And then, like, uh, Steezus comes up to me. And okay. He's trying yeah. to get me to, like, hey, come over here. And they had, like, come over to this ice cream truck. <laughs> and, like, here's your pro board. And I'm, like, trying to do a back nose grind on the back heel. I never did the trick before. <laughs> <laughs> In the sling. And, uh, yeah. And, yeah. He's, and he's, like, no, like, come. And I don't know him at this point. And I'm, like no here's this guy trying to get you to go and get ice cream with him yes i'm like or he's just like come over here and i'm like no dude like what like yeah it's i just remember it being really hard for him to get me to stop doing this trick yeah so pretty much it was like i guess it wasn't hard for them to perturb me pro but i was just like complaining You're like no nah, dude like no nah. like, was it at the westchester park <laughs> yes okay. that westchester park oh, and, westchester yeah. and then they brought my board out i was like oh I'm an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. Was everybody there? Was like Jim there? And yeah, like everybody, everybody was there. Yeah. And you had no inkling that they were going to do that. You had no idea. Not Good no. surprise then. Yeah. Worked out good. Did yeah. you get ice cream? <laughs> I don't remember. But I mean, what a hell of a surprise, right? Yeah, you know, I was bored and everybody stoked. Real, I was real sleepy. I didn't even, I didn't even have a pro party. What do you mean? That was a, you got ice cream and everything. Oh, I, was, uh, I was a shrimp. I drank at that point. Oh, you did? Okay. But I couldn't get into the bar. Oh, so okay. I was like, just, I was at the Beverly Laurel all like super tired from like smoking 18 million splits. <laughs> and then like. That was your party right there. <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh, and then like drinking a bunch of beers. And then like, I just passed out and everybody went to like uh, uh Kibbit's room or something. Okay. And I'm like knocked out. Everybody got drunk as shit at my pro party. Well, they, and, they continued yeah. the party. Yeah, they they, they party, party partied you. on. Yeah. Without you, <laughs> yeah, but that's awesome though, dude. Yeah. yeah, yeah, pro at Westchester Park, huh? Yeah, and I'm just, I was actually there today. Oh, you were? Yeah. Oh, I was, was kind of pissed. Oh, no ice cream truck. No, uh, <laughs> no. <nah. laughs> <laughs> nah. That's funny though. I didn't even think about it. I was like, ah, oh, memories, man. Here. Ten pro here. Yeah. yeah, yeah, right. Wait, why were you pissed at the park today? I just felt off balance. Mm. Mm. You know mm. what I mean? Yeah. And I don't know if you guys realize, but skateboard is kind of about balance. Yeah. Oh, a little bit, no, a little bit. Little you know bit. Oh, do you know? Do you guys know about that? I mean, yeah. Oh, <laughs> is, he's looking at my switch flip Manny over here, huh? Yeah. All balance. Yeah. Yeah. Anytime you want to look at it, let me know. I'll, I'll move. You know send him mean? a link. Yeah. Oh yeah, but, I'll uh, send you a link. It's on YouTube. So I was just feeling off balance, and yeah. I was just like, "Today's dry, man." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All day, I was like, "Today's dry," and except like, probably I I went and skated Venice Park, mm -hmm. and then I had a session there. And then maybe the last 15 minutes was cool. Other than that, my day was like dry as hell. I was like side-eyeing the whole time. Like, mm. <laughs> isn't, that, isn't that the weirdest thing? Skating's so crazy. One yeah. day you're just Cause like if, insanely good, and the next day you're just garbage. The thing that bothers me is I talk out loud. 
Oh, you did? Okay. Yeah, so I'm like, oh, I'm like talking out loud, like talking about how much I suck, dude. And, <laughs> you know what I mean? and people were like, nah, dude, like, you're really good. You're really good. And I'm just like, nah, dude. I'm not. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Because they don't, they don't see me skate. Yeah. You know what I mean? They don't know. Right. It's like, I land like, however many tricks out of this is like no like that's not actually cool like right. i'm angry yeah i'm like boiling inside like literally <laughs> boiling like you it, you could not even uh, it's not describable yeah. I'm just like, I'm literally like so pissed and i'm just trying to sit there and keep it cool right not be a crazy person public it's like, <sighs> Do you ever focus boards or anything, or how 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 heavy does your temper get? Do I focus boards? Yeah, let's just put it this way. <laughs> no, Jim's not watching. Nobody's watching. <laughs> nobody, nobody cares. At one point, mm -hmm. I had like five setups in my car because I just like actual setups. Yeah, completes. just like I had like because I ride a twin-tailed board that board mm -hmm. that's symmetrical you okay know? Yeah. but i like that fun boards you know what i mean i have a zip zinger i have a zip zagger you know what i mean? <laughs> yeah, i'd, have, I'd yeah. have like a training board that was like an a5 with big ass wheels oh, shit. you know what i mean i have a bunch of boards okay focused them all one time <laughs> did you just grab them out of your trunk focus yes. grab them out of your trunk. <laughs> i focused the one board and then focused the nose the tail the trucks and then I just didn't have enough and then went into my car and just fucked <laughs> every <laughs> fucking board in my truck. That sucks because you got to set like up looking, five new boards. <laughs> no, I just don't have that no, many setups any anymore. anymore. Okay. Did you feel better after? <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck yes. Hey, that really... It's not, it's not good to keep that kind of right. anger yeah. in. Of course. It's almost you know like when I mean? you focus boards, you could feel it go through your whole body, right? Yeah, <laughs> Tip yeah. of the head, down to the feet, and out through the board. Yeah, yeah. and <laughs> after I'm usually pretty fine, I'm like, all right, psh, yeah. Yeah. Got to go crazy, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize. Yeah, I had to get that out. Can't hold that stuff in. You know what I mean? Don't want to be mean to you guys for no reason. Because right. I couldn't switch flip as good as I wanted to. You know what I mean? <laughs> but at any time where you uh, do that, and you're like, God damn. And then 10 minutes later, you want to skate. And you got to set up a board and of do the course, whole thing. Of course. That, just... that regret obviously yeah. comes in at some point. But right. God, does it feel good. It feels great. When you're just pissed and you're just like... Phew. Smash. Breaking this thing into a million fucking pieces. <laughs> <laughs> it is a great feel. I used to break many a board. I got oh, out yeah. of that phase. I got out of it, man. Yeah. I was a bad board breaker. For me, really what bad. happens also is I'm like, this sounds funny to say, but <laughs> like the Hulk. <laughs> you know how oh. they, the Hulk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like, in, like you ever seen the Hulk movie where it's like days since incident, like 120. You know what I mean? Okay, like he yeah. had to freak down, turn into the Hulk and like. A uh -huh. couple months. Gotcha. That'll be like me. I won't like, I won't freak out for a while, and then like, I'll just snap and like just be breaking all types of boards, right. and then I'll go back to normal. And you know what I mean, day since incident won't be like for a couple months. And then, yeah. I, and then I'm like breaking my board prone mm -hmm. for like a little bit, and then yeah. I kind of get out of that. See, so, the, you got to be careful though, because if you could get hurt breaking a board too, yeah. you know, you can get a little ankle or heel bruise or lately, you know, what I've been doing. Your foot. Lately, I've been breaking. I'm not good at breaking the middle of my board. Oh, nose and tail. If I break the middle of my board, I use for some reason I don't know what it is. I think real boards are just like the strongest boards ever. <laughs> you know? He's I think you guys should maybe go and buy a real board because you land with your feet together in the middle. That thing ain't breaking. <laughs> yeah. I, cannot break real I cannot. They just flex on you. I can't break a real no, board in the middle. Yeah. Like, I've been so many times just stomping a board, just looking like an idiot, slipping out, falling on my back and shit. Like, right. so I usually go nose and tail, and then mm -hmm. recently I'll just like swing my board and break it over like a over a rail or something i've never broken a board with my feet i can't do it really I, Wait, I, like on purpose yeah or? like i literally oh. tried to break my board on purpose and i just can't you do must it. not have been mad enough really no i i, I can't give biz to it yeah but like I, mean, I just don't i can't do it i don't know why you maybe you gotta go nose and tail i probably land both feet on the board nose and or like you do it right you do it like the nose in the in the board right is that you break the nose you put your foot in the middle and then your or like your foot like right in front of the bolts yeah and then uh your your other foot like right on the tail but like, you gotta right like, on the end of that you shit. gotta like follow through to the ground yeah. you know it's yeah. like uh yeah just in case you little shrimps out there want to learn how to break a board <laughs> 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 
foot right in front of the ball. I need to try this, dude. This is and the yeah. other one right off the tail and just fucking uh, crack that. Or you can just take that board apart and just hand it to some kid. Yeah. See, that, see there's dude, that. Too. That's what I usually right. do. There is that. Because yeah. I've, I've broken a board mm -hmm. and like see. there's some kid with just some thrash board and right. I'm just like, <sighs> I feel like an asshole. I'm just like, I'm over here. Mr. Crazy breaking boards over here, and this kid doesn't even have this. This kid setup's crazy. Yeah, you could just be like, "Here, take this." Yeah, yeah. yeah. I could have been like that. Usually, if I'm gonna give my board to a kid, mm -hmm. I'm like, "Hey, like, you, you want my board?" And they're like, "Yeah." And I'm like, what if they're "I got a tool. <laughs> Go ahead, but it's like, take it apart for me." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I sound like an asshole. But I'm like, "Get every board." But it's so I'm not. A kid. I mean, they'll yeah. take apart your board. Yeah, no they're yeah, like, oh, But sure. I kind sure. of, I kind of feel like an asshole. Yeah. But at the same time, I like. Don't really want to take a part of the board. Nobody Truthfully, wants to. Do you like setting up boards? Is that a thing for no, you? No, 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 no. no, no. no I don't would think anyone let, likes to set up boards. Would you let the kids set up a board for you, or is that too personal? That's too much. I don't know. Like, what if he like sunk the bolts or something? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, what? Like, what? Or, or twisted the grip tape so it peels up onto the bolt uh, over the bolts. You know yeah, when that happens? That would be uh, that'd be kind of annoying. But yeah, I feel like nowadays, like I don't know, it just doesn't happen as bad yeah, as it used yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, no you, one. You'd set it up yourself. Yeah. Yeah. But I also don't. It doesn't matter which truck I put on where because I ride a oh, you symmetrical don't? board. So, okay. in that sense, it's like, yeah, go go nuts, set it up, hmm. take it apart. Interesting. It so even a symmetrical board, you switch the trucks up. You ride your truck you, symmetrical too. Well, the but trucks. That's still, a bigger thing, though. Yeah, but do you still have like a front and back though? See, because the trucks. See, that's the thing. I put the trucks on. Yeah. And I've ridden symmetrical boards for years, so okay. it's like. From the beginning, I'm not favoring one side, so the trucks don't God. lean one side or the other. So you just throw down. Yeah, you're not even. Tr that's interesting. It's, there's stipulations. Though. Oh, what? what, 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 what <laughs> so it's got? like obviously, like if I'm skating some spot, mm -hmm. a ledge spot, you know what I mean, manual spot. Yeah, doesn't matter as much. But if I'm probably gonna try something that mm. I could possibly get hurt on, mm. I'm obviously gonna pick one side to to know in my head that there's consistency of some sort you know what i mean gotcha. so if okay. the board's banged up or this or that at least i'm popping off the same side you know what right. i mean right like if i'm skating a spot i might i'll probably skate it one way but normally if i'm just skating around i don't pay attention you don't to pay attention you just I don't throw pay down. attention to what side maybe, my board is. Oh, wow yeah. maybe i should try that that's like, a good it's pretty, it's pretty fun you just yeah. front shove fucking keep riding it <laughs> yeah. front again Woo, i mean it's cool too makes yeah. complete sense yeah. What got you into riding a symmetrical board? Um, yeah. Well, my thought process behind it was, is I like skating rails, nollie mm -hmm. or switch, mm -hmm. but mainly nollie. I would whiff the pop sometimes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's because normally the nose is a little bit steeper. So your tail or, or your nose takes longer to hit the ground. Right. Why do I have to pop further down for my more uncomfortable stance? Yeah. Why yeah. wouldn't I want a quicker snap so I know I'm gonna, hundred, I'm gonna snap. You're gonna snap, you know? right? Yeah. See the the downside to that is, with your nose being bigger and you actually snap snapping, mm -hmm. you your your tail gets farther from the ground so you could potentially go higher. There you yes. go. You know what I mean? Right. But I would rather want a more consistent pop. And know that I'm going to hit rather than going like a little bit higher. Yeah. And then if you get better at switch, you're just going to be able to pop that much higher anyway. Right. Or you could just put in different wheels on to make your, you know, a little what I mean? bit bigger, lower, a little bigger, bit, yeah. bigger wheels mm -hmm. so your tail hits a little bit uh, later. Yeah. Or risers. There's a lot of things that mm -hmm. you can change. You don't wear, you don't do risers. No, I don't, <laughs> no, I don't do risers. What, but that's that's a thing. You do you can, know the yeah. length of your nose slash tail? Do I know the length? Yeah. Because <clears throat> there's, like there's like a it has got to be a sweet spot for that. I kind of like made the, you know what I mean? I was like, oh, make me a symmetrical board out of this shape and okay. take the tail from this and this. And at one point, I knew the numbers, you know what I mean? Yeah. But it's just been the same thing for so long that I don't even like. Yeah, you're well, anymore. But I'll tell you what, if I can tell if right when I like, if I get a box and I think it's a symmetrical board and then I set up, because I've set up boards that are, that are not symmetrical because uh -huh. the original shape that that board is that's not symmetrical is pretty almost symmetrical. Okay. But I've definitely set one up before and my sessions 
fucked. Like, I can't fucking skate. Really? Yeah. yeah. And then I'm like, my board this isn't is symmetrical. Mold. It's not symmetrical. No, I'm like, it's not symmetrical. I'll set up a symmetrical board, and I can fucking just do everything. And it look, mm-hmm. But it looks symmetrical, to the, uh, but you could feel that it's not. Or yeah. is it a little... Yeah. Just because it, because both of my... Mold. Yeah. <clears throat> that board is like kind of... Like, the board that I skate is really oval. Like, it's, like, pretty... Okay. It's not, like... Square They look Super pretty ball. alike, you know? Yeah. So, I could set up a board and... You know what I mean? I'm thinking it's symmetrical because I only skate symmetrical boards anyway. Right. So, right. there could be a board in the pile that's supposed to be a, a wall board or something. But I grab it. Uh, you know what I mean? And I set yeah, it up. Right, and, right, you know right. what I mean? And I'm, like, fucking trying to skate. And I'm, like, what the fuck, dude? I can't fucking know. Yeah. Like, this, is, this is working. And I'm, like, it's not a symmetrical board. Huh. And then I'll set up a symmetrical board. Everything fucking works fine. So on the symmetrical board, is it basically two tails? It's two tails. Two tails. Two tails. Yeah. 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 Speaking of whiffing, do you ever do you whiff nollie trays? Uh, (laughs) Yeah, that's a whiffable trick. Yeah, that's why I'm asking. I mean, I've I've popped a few in my day, but (laughs) uh, usually a whiff trick. Right. Yeah. Yeah. What's amazing? You whiff that trick and still get off the ground. I know, but that's a a whiff trick. It's such a whiff trick. When I nollie tray, I kind of try to stand fakey. Because I'm, like, better oh. at switch trays. Okay. So I just, like, try to stand, like, I'm, like, going, like, a fakie tray. Interesting. Like, close your shoulders off? Like, I just, like, go, like, I'm going backwards. Like, yeah, I'm yeah, like, yeah. Like, I'm doing a fakie tray. Yeah. Right. I'm standing so you're your back foot, in a way. Yeah, so I'm, like, yeah. trying to, like, pop oh. that shit. Doesn't pop. Swing it out. Try to but, pop it. Doesn't hey, pop. fuck it. You're rolling away, oh, man. man, you know? Yeah. I trip out on Shane O'Neill because he actually can just fully pop his yeah. nollie trays and I just don't... I mean, you're talking about Shane J here. I, I, yeah. I, I, but I'm, no, 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 I'm not saying that, like, but how... Like, he's the only one I really know to see that, like, just really pops pops it all the time. Diego. Oh, Diego, yeah. Not, yeah. Diego's gnarly. Is yeah. that yeah. one at you? I don't know what school it was, but it's the one with the hubba, the one that uh, Brian Anderson did the... Iconic backsmith. UCI. UCI. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. The one I filmed them do on that ten stair. Oh, you filmed that. Yeah, that was insane. I, I'm surprised you didn't reference it. Well, no, I mean, just uh, did. Yeah. yeah. Well, I saw him nolly tray the triple set too in person. Oh, that was oh, fucked up. You yeah. just been there for all the nolly trays. Yeah, <laughs> wow. pop. Crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. Is there a trick that you like to do uh, on a consistent basis, like every day? I've been trying to instead of doing a kick flip. Uh huh. I do a, I try to switch tray the first trick in the morning. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, because it doesn't seem like a warm up trick, but it's a yeah. Javier Sarmiento style. That's what he would yeah. do. Yeah. Yeah. Like late, <laughs> I'm Shut telling you hand. guys, yeah. the last like week, uh-huh. that little thing, it's not not been working. No, but, <laughs> but, <laughs> but, but, but before that, it's it was been working pretty good. I would do it in my house before first trick, oh, yeah. before I even skated. You know what I mean and shit, but. I would see in your stories you would post that. <laughs> yeah, just a switch tray <laughs> yeah. in the crib. Yeah, it was uh, I don't know. I just figure, like, I want to start switch traying down, like, shit more. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And the problem that I always have is I don't hit my tail. And, mm, whip like, whip, whip, I, out. I whiff it and yeah. your shoulders turn the opposite way. You know what I mean? You know how when you switch tray, sometimes your shoulders want to turn the opposite yeah, way? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. switch tray, like, body, body bear, or switch tray, mm-hmm. like, rewind. I'm just trying to keep doing them and just like keeping them fucking shoulders. keeping them going right and just make it seem normal to where the point where my shoulders won't turn that way because mm-hmm. eventually it'll have to stop right or you point. just go with the uh, switch tray body barrel I mean, <laughs> no I no saw good, you at no Tampa doing, on the hips doing the switch trays. I could see I've you. Been pra- I've been practicing yeah. the, the hips too. Cause yeah. <laughs> the hips kind of weird because you don't fully switch tray. Yeah. You got to kind of like mm-hmm. under switch tray. So I, yeah. That was good. Yeah. Have you seen that, bro? Yeah, I seen that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what's next for a shot? Anything, man? What's, next? what's going on? Uh, Are you filming any new videos? Yeah. Or what's going down? I got um, two colorways. New two new colorways. Yeah, for okay. Nike coming out. So, oh, what, uh, what, yeah, yeah, what shoe? Dunks or what a dunk, and then a, a new a new shoe that mm. I'm gonna have the first colorway for this shoe that's gonna follow it. Dope. You know what I mean? Dope. So you know, wow. They put the bro's name on it. You gotta know, put, put the bro's name. Put some gas on the shoe. <laughs> like, put some gas on it, and then they have the they have the other colorways after light that bitch on fire. You right. Know what I mean? Damn. Yeah. yeah. That's right. You know what I mean? They know what's <laughs> Ignite the flame a little bit. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> that kind of on the back burner. That's sick, though. And but, uh, uh, I'm filming a part for that. Oh, and oh sick. I've been, I've been supposed to film it 
or I've been filming, or I've been supposed to film, be filming <laughs> since. All right, <laughs> I've been supposed to be filming this part yeah. since like last August. Oh wow! Around when I got hurt, mm -hmm. but then my time got cut yeah. significantly. Of course, right? Because. The knee injury. Yeah. But you know what I mean? We're chipping away. We're chipping away. It. You know what I mean? I think you could do it. Yeah. 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 I think you got this. I mean, I got I got a bunch of footage with with uh, the real dudes already. Sick. But um, you know what I mean? Right, right. It was good to start fresh. I like have a bunch of footage with the real dudes, but I haven't really been able to put anything out for a while. Okay. You know what I mean? They have a bunch of projects coming out, and they want everybody to have footage and yes. products. Yes or the uh, project so mm -hmm. everybody has a couple clips just and they want the clips to be there. good you know what I mean right. they sprinkle me in there but then that's like <laughs> it's kind of like knocking knocking me back a little bit <laughs> you know what I mean <laughs> and, like, right. and I was like hurt pretty much like off and on for a whole year so yeah. I'm like I kind of like that heel flip but I guess I'll get another one <laughs> 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 I mean I haven't skated in a month but I guess I could do it <laughs> <laughs> You know what I mean? I'm I'm doing what I can. I'm trying sure. to get out there, film. You know but I mean? you feel 100 percent though, right? You're good. There's a uh, knee right low. right now. Yeah, yeah. Right I now. mean, outside of just getting bodied regularly, like, <laughs> regular I mean, body. The, the wing is good. <laughs> the wing the, is good. Yeah. The, you know the, I mean? the kneecap is good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You're just regular soreness. Regular you know right, everyday mean? shit. Yeah. You ever take like ice baths or Eps Epsom salt or anything? What no. do you do? What do you do to like? Uh, I'm very. Uh, very sensitive to cold water. Me too. Yes. Yes. I have no so, body fat. I can't. And can't deal with it. Do you feel like you're gonna pass out or something when you get in the cold water? I don't know. I've never done it. What's, <laughs> yeah. what's cold what's water? Cold? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what that is? Take hot, <laughs> probably take hot ass showers. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Just sitting there. You gotta be warm. Days. No, we're not hot. I mean, anything that's not to burn not cold, you, but yeah. anything that's not cold. Okay. It's just like ocean. You don't go in the ocean. No. I mean. Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes. It depends where, what, what part of the country you're yeah. in, maybe. Yes. Or what part of the world. Exact moon yeah. <laughs> That is very true. Yeah. The Pacific's a little cold. A little cold. Yeah, yeah true. Yeah. It's, it's big blue. Big. <laughs> Atl Atlantic. That space in between the mm -hmm. continents there. Yeah, yeah it's fucking smaller. It, dude, yeah. snow's where you live, dude. I know. But, I'm, but the water, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure, like, it's like... It's much warmer. Well, when was the last time the you were in water in the Atlantic? Miami. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. That's bath water there. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of like gross. It's like too warm. It's like kind of too warm. Yeah. 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 Lukewarm, like all kind of like so awkward warm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but someone I, pissed in. But I can deal because I like I like warm water. But like, <laughs> yeah. it, I've I've been in Miami and it's been like fucking eighty something degrees and humid, and mm -hmm. I get in the water and I'm like. Sweating. Is this good? <laughs> like, am I really getting relieved? I just feel hot in here too. Yeah, I'm like sweating in the water. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not to say that I don't like it. It's just a thought in the back of my head. I'm just like, water. I, I, if I go in the ocean here, my teeth are chattering, and I'm just uh, I'm like, a, I'm like a wet like. You're always got like the long sleeves. Right? I like the long. I'm skinny. Okay, Shod, you hats. know, like yeah. I, I need the little bulkiness. You Actually. Know? Uh oh. Uh, the last year, yeah, where I was hurt a lot was mm. probably the most aquatic year of my life. You know what I mean? Oh, aquatic. Yes, that nice was aquatic. What, you, what were you? Uh, <laughs> pools, pools. I I I went to the beach a couple times. Okay. I got in the water. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. So boogie I was board getting, or just body surf or no, what, were you, what are you doing over there? You know what I mean? Just you ever tried surfing? No, I want to though. It's really? hard. Yeah. What do you do at the beach? I mean, do you play like a uh, frisbee or <laughs> you know the like little paddle ball thing? You hit the thing back and forth to your buddy. I don't know. I kind of just hang just out. Hang out. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Just Chris has out. no well, idea what that's like. I just wonder what <laughs> people do at the beach. I, I'm not a beach guy. I don't know what people are doing. Two minutes away from the beach, and never goes. I don't know what people are doing down there. You know. What are you like looking out your window? Like, what could they be doing? That's what <laughs> I can't believe. Are they? They're, they've been out. That, that couple's been out there for three, three hours. hours. Three four <laughs> hours. Hanging on the sand. I, it blows my mind, Ashad. Yeah. Know, I don't know what they're doing. I, I would assume just kick it. I just, every time I go to the beach, I just kick okay. it. You know, get in the water yeah. a little bit. Yeah. But last year, last year when I was hurt, I was just, like I said, I was just pulling up. I'd be in Venice, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? I had people over the crib. We'd go swimming. Yeah. 
Yada, yada, yada. Yeah. You know what is fun, though? Skimboarding. You ever try skimboarding? In the, oh, no, it's really no. fun. Do you I throw win. the board down and you run, you jump on it, you could like cut, you know. When was the last do, time you skimboarded? Do a little, oh, probably when I was like 10. This sounds so stupid, you know what I mean, obviously. But just sharks. That doesn't sound stupid at all. It's playing around here. I feel like within the last two years, I'm hearing a lot of sharky yeah, yeah. shit. Yeah. I don't fucking like it. No, because I want, because <laughs> I want to fucking, I want to try to surf. Yeah. And then like right when I like start being able to be like, hey, like maybe I'm gonna try to start surfing. You know what I mean? They're like, yeah, it's so unusual. The sharks are moving in close to uh, <laughs> the shore. Yeah, yeah, it's the shore and yada yada yada. I'm like, great, awesome. Uh, yeah, it's like. Oh, dude, one in a million chance. You know what I mean? But what if I'm that tasty I little always, one in a million it, morsel? <laughs> I know. I always think the same thing, though. And then I don't got a fucking ankle or arm because I wanted to be fucking fresh and wanted to fucking <laughs> yeah. try surfing for a day. Well, that's when you go play Frisbee or something. On the Frisbee's beach. dry, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, like Frisbee? Frisbee's so dry. Okay. Okay. <laughs> but I'm the same way, though, man. I always think about, like, if I'm, you know skydiving or any of this bullshit i want to skydive i'm not see no i'm, I'm not, i want to skydive i'll be the one in the million because i'm 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 flat s- i'm scared to skydive but i want to do it because i want i'm scared of it you know yeah, but i don't i, don't I like feel like shit. saying this could like really seal the deal for me because oh. i'm i'm definitely scared of it okay but if someone's like hey we're gonna go skydiving and i'm like if i get the opportunity i can't say no i can I, say no easily i have to be like Fuck it. Let's, let's go right let's, now. Let's get it. Right now. You would go for skydiving, Raj. Would no. you go skydiving would you go skydiving with Raj? I'll go tandem with someone, I don't care. No, not like to get no, I mean, you no, know, but I mean like that's what it is. You have the to first. first. Time, yeah. The first time you have to yeah, go right. attached yeah. to But yeah, you, you and a shot aren't aren't tandem. No, I'm not, I'm like, <laughs> jumping over an airplane strapped to someone, fine. That, that's if that's if what you have pro, yeah. I mean, yeah, that's what you have to do. Yeah. But all I'm saying is if I'm jumping out of a plane, kinda don't want to be alone. Maybe that's just me, but I haven't jumped out of a bunch of planes, so Dude. maybe I'm I'm I don't want to be the person that rips the cord. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't, don't want to <laughs> What about bungee jumping? Bungee would be like kind of a burnt ass way to go out. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> Like, yeah, Shaw just, was, just wanted to bungee jump. The cord, <laughs> the, Poor guy. The cord snapped and yeah. you know what I mean? Hit a rock. It's kind of more sick to be like, yeah, like, Ashad was scared of skydiving his whole life and was trying to conquer his fear. And you know what I mean? He fucking hit the ground. Yeah, hit the ground. But you know oh, what I mean? Man, yeah. no, no. Come that, on, bro. That, say that. that view was, that view on the way down is probably yeah. pretty sick. <laughs> you know? Any OCD tendencies with skating? Like you have to do something before you do a trick or uh, any any little thing like that? Uh, Not really. No. I feel like I'm just like real logical. So it's like mm-hmm. if something's not working on flat or if it's like I'm fucking doing something to prepare for this, it's not working out. I'm just like, what the fuck? Like, I'm not going to go try it down the thing. Yeah, yeah. It's, not, it's not fucking working. Today. Right. You know what I mean? Do you usually go, like, if you're going to go to do something, do you usually go try to practice it before? Uh, it depends on the circumstances. True. Sometimes yeah. you right. can't always be like, hey, I'm going to go here and go to this rail. And, right. You know? What about, uh, you ever switch, you got to switch for laser flips really good, uh, which I don't, that's like the randomest thing in the world, I feel like. Oh, the circus trick? Yeah. The, <laughs> the, the SIG? <laughs> Do you ever, like, have you ever filmed that in anything? Like an actual spot? No, I did it at a demo <clears throat> and, uh, and uh, Argentina because I was doing it on flat and so I was like, dude, down the gap. And I was like, yeah, that'd be funny. So I did it. <laughs> but like, and then I tried it at Street League. Uh, the last Street League I skated, I tried it down like the smallest gap. Oh, yeah, that's right. There, yeah. And I couldn't do it and I was fucking pissed off. I was, like, <laughs> oh. I was like, oh, this will be funny again. And then I was just flipping it too quick. Oh. And I just it kept over spinning. You don't really know how to stop it. No. You just go. It just never goes. Going, going, going. Yeah, because I like spin it really quick. Mm-hmm. I like have trouble slowing it down. Right. You don't really catch it. You know? Yeah, but usually I'm doing it on flat, and I'm not oh, like Tiago right. or anything. I'm not popping that shit this high. It's like, right. fucking catch it on flat. No. Right. It kind of just whips around, and I land on it. Yeah. Well, it's you know? weird yeah. because most people can't get that trick around. It's a hard But one. it's so easy for you to get around that you can't stop it. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it's like when people like... 
first start tray flipping down stuff. Mm-hmm. And I know, I know you know how to stop a tray. Yeah. Well, that's what yeah, that's a cool. Like, yeah. That's cool when you catch it with your front foot, and you're just like, no, 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 no. You dip it out, you know. Mm-hmm. That's kind of the funnest part I feel like about learning tricks down stuff is when you learn how, how to, to bail it. How to bail it. That's kind of the coolest part. Yeah, almost. Love not landing shit. <laughs> no, but you know, what I mean. no, you know what I mean, though. It but makes you more confident. It, like, if you're yeah. it. No, no, but no, no, but like it makes you confident that you're like not gonna f- f- go off the ledge and it's just gonna stay underneath you. you don't know where, what's gonna happen if you bail. You know, I'm kind of lost. But. <laughs> no, you try it's like you try to nolly flip and then you don't know how to you're bail and it keeps you're, spinning. Oh yeah, and you're, you're like not how to bail. Yeah, yeah. It's like I don't know. You're not the only one who's lost. Fakey frontside tricks is like kind of hard to bail. So they don't getting back at you mm, they're yeah. like, like say, let's say if you try a fakie frontside flip and it doesn't really go through your legs and it's kind of like under you mm-hmm. it's kind of weird gotta learn how to catch tricks sometimes or just do them fuck yeah. it yeah dude just baby brains it I don't know how people do that <laughs> what do you mean <laughs> baby brain shit what's baby brain just skate dumb you never heard of the term baby brains it no I've never heard it either actually really no. what is it like, like a fucking kid you don't know what the fuck is you going on dumb. like this kid's just like like you go to a skate park and a kid like can't kickflip, but he wants to kickflip down the down fucking the tri- triple set. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now it's tri- nowadays triple set. Yeah. <laughs> um, or he wants to fucking fucking. He doesn't know how to one eighty, but tray flips are the sickest shit to him, and he's just flinging a fucking double tray down a mm-hmm. quadruple quadruple set. <laughs> quadruple set. You know what I mean? Baby brains in it. Baby brains. Or yeah. you like just learn how to fucking say you just learn how to feeble, but you're. you're Trying like to. you ever go to some park and someone's trying something and it's like it doesn't look like they know how to do this at all doesn't and they're just like throwing themselves out and they're just fucking getting smoked and yeah. this and that <laughs> right you know what I mean it's like they baby brains yeah they're baby brains yeah there's no method to their madness it's just okay. madness they're just fucking <laughs> flying at the you thing. see a lot of these baby brains at skate parks you know yeah pushing up can't even push to the quintuple set <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's quintuple now. Yeah, well, now it's quintuple. <laughs> uh, so what, Ishad, anything else, bro? What do you have? Uh, I know you got the, the, the Nike SB shoes, the colorways that are coming mm-hmm. out that are going to be fire. Yeah. You got... Uh, you write for oh, Stance, too, right? Stance, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Do you yeah. have, like, any signature socks or anything like that? You, like, you go on trips or uh, something. I don't have that. any signature socks coming out. No, should probably like, get one. Maybe huh? I should. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> talk to Erica. Yeah, I, I I had some like a couple of years ago, but okay, you know what I mean. Make, make the, the call, uh, man. Maybe I'll make some socks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Stance's underwear. Oh, really good. Really good. Yeah. Best thing you'll do for your genitals. <laughs> 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 Boom. I, I am so serious. It's not even a joke. Like they use this. Uh, this fabric that's like infused with like these mm-hmm. plant fibers. It's so soft. I have, I have, I have some, and I, I definitely agree. My you genitals what, are a lot happier. You know what they, I'm talking about. Yeah, absolutely. Anybody who's worn them knows what the fuck I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> they know what the fuck going on, <laughs> and they're good. What Boom. about real? Does real have anything going on that we could look forward to? Any f- um, anything? Uh, new videos I'm, in the works? Maybe or? I got some footage coming out with them at some point mm-hmm. during the year too. Okay, Sick. and uh, you know, chipping away. I like that. Yeah, and uh, you know what I mean. They're always coming up with new graphics, trying to do better. Jim Thebo's always holding it down. Literally, right. best dude. Mm-hmm. Like, yep. Hey, shout out to Jim and everybody that works at Lux. Yeah. And fucking kills it for me and everybody else who is involved with the Lux. Love you guys. Just everyone in skateboarding involved with Jim. Yeah. Yes. Literally. Mm-hmm. Best. Who's your favorite skater, right? Do you have a favorite skater? I keep like being like, oh yeah, that's my favorite skater, and then being and then forgetting it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Right now I'm really hyped on Jake Hayes. Jake he's, Hayes. Oh, he's good, dude. Yeah. yeah. He has a lot of pop mm-hmm. and he lands magnificently. There yeah. you go. He like yeah. his dismount is absolutely beautiful. Right. Yeah. He just lands so cool. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> I like it, man. That's super sick. Evan Smith. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Seeing him skate in real life is a trip. Yeah. Um he's probably tripping. G- yeah. G- <laughs> G- Gavin. GT. Yeah, oh, yeah. dude. Dude, yeah. and GT's got a flame, got a he's got a there's another. There's a new flame. There's what always been a flame, but oh, he's going in right now. Huh? He's going in right now, dude. He's so sick. G- GT's yeah. going in. Yeah. <laughs> GT Chip is going in. 
<laughs> um, Raven, Raven, Raven Terche, yeah. when he needs to gas it up, he will gas it up. He'll gas yeah. it. Yes. Tiago. Tiago. Oh, Tiago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I agree. Right. Do you watch a lot of skate videos? Yeah, I try, but I, I don't have the time nor the attention span that I did when I was younger. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You're more of like an Instagrammer. You just kind of flip, you know, I'll flip scroll through, through. You yeah. know what I mean? But it's like nowadays, <clears throat> for me to like just go through, I used to be like on he Hell Eclipse heavy. Okay. You know what yeah. I mean? And then they kind of just. It kind of started like posting like what the fuck ever you know what i mean yeah, yeah, and then yeah, it was yeah. kind of hard to filter through like oh what's good you know what i mean it's like i'd be clicking on something it's like mr johnny kickflips a lot like oh like he does is fucking kickflip everything right. you know what i mean it's like oh shit i mean it's right. cool he's doing good kickflips but it's like it's kind of wasting my time <laughs> <laughs> you know right. so uh i don't know i kind of stopped watching all that yeah and then you know what i mean instagram the random shit on thrasher for sure right. free free skate mags good oh yeah oh yeah okay. european yeah. mag yeah 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 because they post a lot of just like really good yeah, european gray? skaters no gray's a good one too mm -hmm. might have to check that out yeah. Yeah. great mag a lot of content yeah. out there yeah a lot, a lot of content, content. you gotta yeah. filter through it all yeah man, you gotta you filter know? through it all so it's like i don't know so when they post like video gets posted somewhere and it's like 30 minutes yeah it's like I ain't got time for that you know what I mean it's like oh I'm gonna go first part and then last part and then based off the first part and last part maybe I'll like see what those parts between. are really <laughs> gnarly yeah maybe there's like some jams in there have you ever yeah, watched you know a full episode of the nine club uh, no. <laughs> I have it. I'm not gonna lie. To you guys are gonna be like, yeah. And then you guys are gonna be like, which one? And I'm yeah. like, uh, 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 the Jason Dill one. And they're like, oh, so what was your favorite uh, thing? You Jason yeah. Dill said. I've been yeah. meaning to. He can't even watch a 30 minutes game. He can't even watch the three no, hour. No, no, no. I've been meaning to, but just, just, just hasn't, just hasn't happened yet. Maybe I'll good. watch mine later. Yeah. You know what I mean? Okay. See, see what you guys edit in. I'll be texting you guys like, yeah, you guys probably should put that in. <laughs> <laughs> man this is I, I we could sit here all night Ashad. this is a uh, fucking amazing dude i'm just talking i love it dude mm -hmm. it's a good guys it. well good i was time. Time. so like we were talking about the whole the uh, switch pop shove it or not only shove it 180 switch yeah. pop shove it 180 it's like were you ever it's really random i said that but were you ever like around when stevie or anyone with like josh kalos were staying, skating love at all i was not mm -hmm. i knew about it but i, I wasn't a part of that that era yeah you yeah. know what i mean i was still like you know, we're like a kid uh, like this i was looking. still in jersey like fucking yeah like in my hometown just like skating your neighbor's yeah. driveway but you've been you were <laughs> grew up i mean you pretty much grew up skating love a lot i would say right yes and no because at one point where i first started going there love was like uh-uh yeah. like like sketchy like it was just like people weren't really skating there. Hmm. Or at least I didn't know when they were skating there. I was too young to be there after 10 o'clock when maybe people would come out and skate there after the cops got off. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I, I was skating like City Hall and then I would skate Temple and and Drexel, the colleges, and I would skate uh, Penn's Landing. Mm. Skating around downtown, but like love, I didn't really skate love that much until I got like a little bit older mm -hmm. and the cops kind of like eased up a little bit and then you know what i mean i was like a little bit older i kind of knew the deal you know what i mean yeah. met some kids that skate there all the time you know you get skate here between this time and this time you know what i mean mm -hmm, and then right. that's when i kind of go down there more but when i was like real young be like a pass through maybe yeah. get a little quick quick run quick run fire <laughs> ride down the three stair how, how many tries switch flip i think i tried it more than once yeah, he went back multiple yeah, days. And yeah. I think when the time that I landed it, mm -hmm. I don't think I tried it very many times. I think it maybe like I tried it maybe like, I mean, 15, 20 is okay. still a pretty good still amount of yeah. 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 yeah, I think it was like around like that, but it was spread over a really long time. Gotcha. I'm pretty sure there was like a lot going on up mm -hmm. top. People were like break dancing and doing a bunch of stuff. Yeah. Like, you know, I love like people right. were doing crazy shit. People were walking in front, and uh, I think it was like I, I wasn't getting that many tries in between goes. You gotcha, know, what I mean, I was yeah. like run up and then, uh, and then 
Right. That always, that always sucks when that happens. Yeah. yeah. Well, dude, he you've done a bunch of tricks down that thing, man. Was there like a certain one that was like, I saw one clip where you switched big spin to it and like you like fucked up your hand. Oh yeah, I broke this finger. That was actually on my homie's board. That was on that, that was on Dom's board. Dom. Oh wow. Yeah. But you just broke your finger and just kept skating. Yeah, I didn't even know I broke it at first. That was such a bummer. I was like, uh, <laughs> mangled ass finger. You landed it though. Yeah, yeah, yeah I got probably it. pretty high. You got yeah. it. Yeah. What other tricks have you done down low? Uh, yeah. Switch flip, heel flip. Mm-hmm. Switch front big spin, front shove. Front shove. Yeah. Front shove was really. And you kick with it in a line. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, what was I kick flip it in a line. Yeah. yeah. I don't. The only thing trip- good old days. <laughs> 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 When you go out and film, I mean, especially, I mean, there, there's there's spots obviously that you want to mm. go and skate and do tricks at, but you ever just go out and cruise and just with a filmer and just kind of whatever happens, uh, you kind of seem like a spontaneous yes. dude, you know. Yeah. Nowadays it's harder to do that yeah. because the equipment, everybody's just trying to be so up on their gear. Yeah, right. That like nowadays a red camera takes like five minutes to boot up. Yeah. <laughs> right. Oh, actually, I randomly feel like skating this spot that like I can only get two tries at. I'm going to be warming up because we've been skating around. Mm-hmm. Boot that thing up. I'm going to skate for, for, for maybe like five, five, seven minutes here. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just wait for you to boot that thing up. You know, I'm ready now, <laughs> but like, you know, I'll right. just wait here. I'm cool. Right. Does that ruin the session for you? It just it just doesn't make it as natural as it needs to be or as I want it to be because when I was a kid it's like fucking throw a fucking little camera in a backpack there you go yeah for sure yeah Yeah. fucking throw a VX you know what Mm -hmm. I mean it's like real easy like white bounce oh yeah fucking hey we're good you know what I mean Yeah. Yeah. You're, yeah, you're good. Now it's yeah. your production for you? Yeah, it's just all you needed was a backpack, a couple batteries, fish eye, exactly. open the backpack, boom, you're fucking you're good. good. Yep. You know what I mean? You could even fucking run around the fucking corner, oh, we're gone, and then fucking come back. It's there, like yeah. so easy. Right. The fucking thing weighs fucking. It's two like fucking nowadays the, uh, the filmers have more gear than the photographers. They do. And it was like, vi- it was like, reversed years ago you know yeah you had to yeah. wait for the photographers to set up yeah especially like getting older and everybody lives kind of farther away and True. this or that yeah. and you know what i mean like your filmer may not necessarily fucking hang out with you every second of the day like when you're a kid you, you could need just be, you know what i mean you could just be hanging out you know what i right. mean the homie has a camera and you're riding by a spot and maybe you didn't think you were going to skate, but hey, that thing looks kind of sick and I might want to try it. Yeah. Let's fucking try it. Now it's like, oh yeah, that thing looks sick and I want to skate it, but my filmer lives an hour and a half away. <laughs> yeah. Right, right. You know what I mean? The good old days when you skate yeah. with your boys, oh, you guys, you guys are just together doing the damn thing. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. Right. And you guys are just hanging out like... The best, the best thing ever is just being in a city and you're just with your boys like at some random spot and you don't even kick it. You don't even care. You're just kicking it, fucking skating around, doing your little flat ground, fucking whatever. Mm-hmm. Hey, like, just fucking go skate around. Yeah. Just come around the corner. There's some shit that you've been seeing for forever. But for some reason, today is the day. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> right. It's sick. Like, yeah. it's just natural. Boom. That's yeah. like the best fucking thing ever yeah yeah i love i mean i i agree you know or do what day one does put little camera down a little so uh Just static selfie. shot yeah but little that's, selfie. that's not the angle i want can't have I all know. you you can't you you can't have your cake and eat it too. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, man, as long as you just go out there, have fun, do what you do, you know what I mean? Like, exactly. That's all that matters, man. Yeah. We love watching you skate and everything and wave off curbs and shit, you know? Oh, was that in your run? It was in that the was run. in your run. Yeah. Oh, I see. I thought it was just a... I thought you were just skating around. No, that was... That was on... That was in time. I yeah. That. That, was, that, was, that was... That's amazing. That was inside of the makes it even Makes it even better. <laughs> yeah. Makes it even better. Yeah. Um, so. Yeah, no, we love we love big fans Rashad big fans thanks man yeah. you guys too thanks hey, bro yeah, you, you guys. know what I'm saying I mean we, yeah. we all have great accomplishments here yeah. bro yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's right man oh listen oh. man do you drink coffee very rare, randomly but hot beverages 
I like I like tea. Yeah, yeah. Cool. yeah. A, oh, well, you can drink, you know, yeah, you drink a, beer out of it if you want. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Are you guys gonna give me a nine club mug? Yeah. Oh, is that what happens at the end of nine club that I didn't know because I haven't watched See? it? See, <laughs> there you go. Uh, we, like to give, we like to give a little. Is that what that box is there? No. no, no. I was hoping that I got to no. open a box. Here. Oh, 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 you want to like unbox really something? So we should do that. I right know we should unbox. Yeah, 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 we should do unboxing we can pack here. Pack a box for you right now. No, but Kelly usually goes yeah. in the in our in our warehouse, which is the next, which is the living room. Yeah, yeah. grabs a uh, little Not parting gift. You know, really. like yeah. Maybe I'll make a little cup of tea tonight. Little cup of tea. Cup of tea. Go yeah, to, go a little bed, chamomile. Smile on my face. That's right. <laughs> That's right. A little chamomile tea. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly, sure. just grab a, a, a black mug and uh, yeah, black. You know, what size Long shirt sleeve, you wear? Short sleeve. Let's get a, sh- a shorty. Oh yeah, give him a black large and a black tea, a black mug. Love a little nice little shorty. If you're out skating, let the shrimps know. You know, hey, nine club. Hey, you shrimps. <laughs> got a, I got something to say to y'all. Thank you, Kelly, bro. Look oh. at this, huh? Nice nine club shirt here. You know what I'm saying? Look at that. Hey, here's a little Nine yeah. Club mug for you. Wash it before you use it, though. Those are available on NineClub.com, you know? You guys have you got the website and everything. <laughs> yeah. so is that where That's I right. would see this? Yeah, episode? Nine Club or uh, on YouTube, you know? Yeah. YouTube. Or you could listen yeah. to it in your car on the podcast app. On iTunes. That's got podcasts. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm literally so far behind. <laughs> we got everything. Like, you guys are like, oh, come on to this nightclub show. I'm like, what is that? I'm just kidding. I've never heard of this show. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just kidding.